Hello there, I'm Chris Barry, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the commentary for Red Dwarf Series 3. I'm Craig Charles, I play Dave Lister. Uh, I'm Robert Llewellyn, I play Crichton. Hello, I'm Hattie Hayridge, reading Holly. And I'm Danny John Jules, early for once. I'm Chris Barry again, and I play Rimmer, by the way. I wasn't really reading. <laughs> Danny plays the cat. Oh, yeah, he forgot to say, yeah. And Craig plays the I, fool. I play the mouth organ. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, oh no. there it is. Oh, goodness oh. me. Ooh. Oh, oh dear me. me. Oh, oh so that, young. Chris, so young Captain and courageous. So young and handsome and lovely. Oh, dear me. But of course, Dan can still now. do it. Yeah, you could, Dan. You could I still couldn't. do that. Yeah, easy, mate. Oh. 80s television effects. Look out oh, for them. Oh. <laughs> There's a raggy special. <laughs> oh, that was good. I remember that, yeah. What an explosion. Oh, that was a good explosion, yeah. Was someone oh, throwing hair. bits of cardboard at me. Hair. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, oh, he's oh, just oh. telling that bit. Oh. Never recovered from that. <laughs> oh, never recovered from that. He still walks funny. <laughs> <laughs> still walks funny. <laughs> now, this was a classic scene, though, the beginning, wasn't it? I remember oh, watching you do this. Oh, I remember this scene, yeah. Uh, oh, much yeah. talked about scene by the fans, actually. Yeah. In fact, cool. I was so jealous that I wasn't in the scene. Well, you, Chris, you I there must be Actually, a way to uh, write. Do you guys <laughs> mind? Can we listen to this, please? <laughs> two, two immensely talented artists. Well, they are working here. It's just they've seen it. Yeah, but we haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> it's an orgy of timing, isn't it, sir? People can turn this commentary off, can't they? Yeah, they it is can, optional, yeah. isn't it? We're no, not recording over the show, are we? Oh, uh, no. I'm just wondering. Hold on a minute. Strange. Which. We're just talking over Danny's finest oh, no. hour. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got the hairnet on as well, Dan. You're walking all over me, gags, man. <laughs> Danny, you were fully awake for the whole scene in this yeah. one, which was uh, great. You're still lying down there. Yeah. This is crazy. Why are we talking about going to bed with Wilma Flintstone? Punchline on the way. Yeah, beautiful line. We're nuts. This is an insane conversation. Could have improved the time in there a bit, though, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> She'll never leave Fred, and we know it. <laughs> yeah, that Still, was good. You, that was good. You, you can't improve that on perfection. Good, but recovered it for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, you did. Great yeah, back to do at the end. Ah, uh, look, a man who's been to a mime class. There we go. Clip <laughs> board and pen, please. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful. Master of the freeze. Wasn't it? Wasn't that brilliant? <laughs> really Master of the freeze. There was yeah. barely a jolt there. Fantastic. Wide enough. 10.30. Name? Captain you know Scarlet. Yeah. Look, didn't we used to call you Captain Emerald in the show? <laughs> yeah, it's Captain Emerald. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a driving instructor. Um, could you get FM or medium wave? On that? <laughs> yeah. A little air yeah. <laughs> but if you remember, we did, actually didn't wear that hat that often. No, no. It was, it was a problem, and a lot, it kept breaking, didn't it? That was hard to do. I had to do a lot of mime classes to learn to do that. Is it all saved in the edit, lad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you were acting with a blue screen, that wasn't really there. Yeah, no, it wasn't really there, so that shows how big the, blue the talent that we, we, we had then. It feels as though it is there. Yeah. feels real. Yeah. There you go, look at that. Oh, you see, you're about to walk up some steps that weren't yeah. there either. So this is basically your first episode on the show, Robert, isn't it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't film it first. No, it wasn't the first recorded, but the first one out. Uh, how did it feel, though, joining a troupe of highly trained professional comic actors? Well, it was, it was a challenge. That? <laughs> that was the show I did before. Oh, yeah. I thought there was some confusion. <laughs> you weren't nervous or anything. <laughs> I was very challenged, as you can tell. We joined together, Robert. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, there we go. See the, the, oh, look at the string. You could, the effect. The, you could not see could, the string. You can see the string on the, on the back of you as well, going up. Oh, yeah. As you come out of the chair. That must have been quite painful going up like that, Chris, wasn't it? Um, no, that's why they asked me to wear the hat, because the aerial might be... Oh, I might have string. distorted yeah. the string. <laughs> Just proceed. You're going to hold it against me, aren't you? That one mistake. It's a technical thing, Hattie. We'll explain oh. it. What, you mean you were pulled up by your hat? Well, the aerial might disguise the fact that there's a wire behind it. Uh, distract your Thank you, Craig. So, succinctly put, you. as ever. Oh, there we go. That was classic. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Ow. Excellent, Ow. though. Excellent. Did you drive here today, Robert? No, I didn't, thank goodness. Yeah. I'm not used to the controls in That was a completely different mask than the, than the masks yeah. in later series yeah, it was, as well, wasn't yeah. it? A lot less angry, a lot a more mask. human. It was a mask. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, all done it's all God. done with rubber. Yeah, but was that a mask? Yeah. Oh. It was all done with rubber, sir. <laughs> all the sweat used to go down his back apparently. Oh don't, Danny. Oh, it used it to stink. Oh, I used to really reek. It used to come out of your ear, didn't it? Yeah. Autopilot engaged. 
Oh, I said something. Oh, there you go. Autopilot. It's not really autopilot, is it? It's me. It's Muggins here who has to do it. So, Hattie, did you, how did you feel about joining a team of highly trained professionals? <laughs> <laughs> yes, in today's territorial army. Um, oh, yes, well, marvellous, yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll move on then. <laughs> My hair's a bit long there, actually. Yeah, it's not very, it's not as green beret yeah. as it became, is it? No, it's, a bit, yeah. it's a bit, yeah. a bit sticky out yes, at the back. Am I hurting yeah. you? I should be, laddie. I'm treading on your ear. Get it, cut! It's one of those, isn't it? It's outrageous. Look at that. Look, Look at this. Little flicks and stuff like that. You can no, actually, no, you can it's actually it's store an orange, a pencil orange in the swirly way of the Was that a swirly <laughs> thing or a wibbly wobbly thing? I couldn't tell. It's an orange swirly thing. It was an orange swirly thing in space. Ah, yeah. Sorry, talking over Dan's lines again. Sorry, yeah. Well, you know, into it. Actually, that was um, Peter Rag's cup of tea stirred very fast, wasn't it? That's uh, look at that, uh, brilliant. Yeah, look, it's a cappuccino. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. It kind of looked like we didn't oh, go through it. Oh, oh. Went to the side of it. There we go. Hi Teaching them seagulls Hi to fly park. backwards for years. Yeah. Well, was it Thorpe Park? Or? No, Hyde Park. Serpentine. Was it? No. No. Surely. No. It was in Manchester, wasn't it? Was it? Look, look, there you go, look. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Got no idea where we filmed this. No, because I wasn't there. I that that's not I. me. I you yeah. Manchester. Manchester. I never yeah. went anywhere. It was in Manchester, apparently. And was that you? No, that wasn't me in that last shot. I think it's um the regenerated. Oh, this side. is what I had to do for my audition speech. This How bit. was it? Oh. History <laughs> Bingleberry breath. <laughs> I mean, can we expect to see Genghis Khan and his barbarian buddies sweeping across the hill? Or a herd of flesh-eating dinosaurs feeding off the bones of Doug McClure. Oh, well delivered, sir. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful bit of Doug work there, Dan. Okay, Chris, sorry. Chris, Doug McClure, if they don't know who David Coleman is. They're not going to know who Doug McClure is, are they? Look at that leafy green countryside. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that looks like Chris walking in his back garden, actually. Nod Noll. <laughs> yeah. It's not much difference. Nod Noll. Nodnoll, where's Nodnoll? Nodnoll. It's London. London, 178 miles. Oh, very bright, very quick. Very See, bright. Crichton can work that sort of stuff out. <clears throat> See, I wonder if someone's done a compass thing of 178 miles away from London. There's a perfectly rational explanation. I just remember the logistical nightmare it was trying to film this, remember, when yeah. people were walking mm. forwards and we were walking oh. backwards. And, and then, when you should have a black eye and when you shouldn't. Yeah. When you've been go. punched beforehand. Oh, look, there's, that's the Piccadilly Hotel, isn't it? Manchester, where you we weren't allowed to stay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that because you'd left without... Right. They moved us <laughs> up. Right, moved you us smashed on. the place we up. There was it. a vicious rumour about an unpaid bill. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything starts with a big bang, right? And the universe starts expanding. There we go. There we go. I do remember doing that, do you, Chris? Walking, no, you're yes. walking, with, mm. you're walking backwards yeah. as they're walking forwards. I've been utterly forwards. ignored by the crowds. They didn't look at us twice. Uh, Nobody <laughs> kind of gave us a second It was very class. bizarre, Is actually. that Ariel hiding strings again? There's Rob There's Rob Grant with hair. God. He, 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 looks, he? he looked like one of Oasis there. He There's did. Mike Commander. That, that was That's Mike. Right. Yeah, Agnew. Mike, Mike Agnew. Agnew. Yeah, yes. he's a bit greyer now. Look, look. Now, this girl What's here this girl's was the singer. That's Maria Friedman. Maria Friedman, the one Maria the yeah. 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 She's the one in, who's in there more. She's starring in Ragtime yeah, at the moment. Yeah, she's in the West yeah. End ones. Yeah. Oh, dearie me. Oh. I don't think she really liked... No, she didn't, she didn't love doing it, did she? No. That's, that, that, that's, she was really Mike. shaken. Craig used to yeah. date lots of girls like that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dearie me. Look at that hair. Look at that Look at that hair, Chris. Look at that hair. Billy Fury. I had uh, no memory of you doing that at all. Oh, oh dear. No. Now, I wonder who that must be representing. Yes. Ronald Reagan. Huh. Even he doesn't know who he is now. Nah. <laughs> Chris, you look like, um, like one of those, one of those new electro romantics. bands. Yeah. 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 I don't know why. Why did you have your hair like that? Maybe makeup or at tea or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's amazing. Big star. What's the year? Thirty-nine ninety-one. No, it's nineteen ninety-three. Ah, oh. I'll switch to reverse mode. Three brought to life in Bankraid. 
A masked man with a sawn-off shotgun. A sawn-off oh, shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. They let that oh, through. That yeah, was that bad. Was they should have redone that. Yeah. Uh, and he was reading that. And I was reading yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Can't he, see, I can't read. That's my big you problem. Blame it on the mask, Bob. Blame it on the yeah, mask. Yeah, but the script was written backwards, guys. You know, uh-huh, give me a break. Yeah, yeah but the, the mouth wasn't stuck properly. That's right. You know. You still had apple crumble and custard stuck in your mask. Two years ago. <laughs> What does that say? Oh, we had good meals there, didn't we? Mm. Deodorant keeps you keeps you wet and smelly for up to twenty four hours. What are we going to do? This place is totally crazy. Totally, totally crazy. What a totally, totally dreadful accent that man has. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Crichton, what hello. <laughs> Look, the hair is a distraction. I have to say. It's a you flop, can't. You can't. See you can't even see your H. You can't see your H. It distracts like an from the H a bit, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Because the H wasn't yeah. the most uh, greatest looking thing at the time, was it? Um, in this first one. Well, we wore it for the next four series, didn't we? I know. <laughs> What I mean is, um, it was stuck on better later on. Mm. Makeup obviously having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Makeup and hair obviously didn't get it right did they? <laughs> on that day. Ah, uh, so you got the idea to become a novelty act. Yeah, isn't it? So that was Maria Friedman, of course, Maria who Friedman. sung the theme tune. Mm. Of course she did, didn't did she? she? Yeah, she sang the f- theme tune. She's, she stars in what, all these West End shows now, Maria. Yeah. She's starring in Red Time. Well, don't say that. My friend's little girl thinks I sing it. On the bright side. buddy. Actually, chaps, it was generous. Generous. She, uh, she sang the theme tune. I don't even care about you. Oh, sorry. Take that back there. It wasn't Yeah, no, don't say that then, Chris, because that's no, not fair on Gemma. That was Maria Friedman who was who, in the cafe scene. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But didn't sing the theme tune. <laughs> And there's Danny looking and Dan, very you, youthful. He just looked, yeah, but yeah. he still does now. Oh, I know he does. No, he's in more her suit now, but he's still. I mean, no, no, no. That's that was my own hair. I do not need fashion tips from you. <laughs> Safety belts. Look. Look at that. But I couldn't get away with that now. You can, you can tell I'm driving, can't you? Yeah. Right. So smooth. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so in control of it. In them. control. That's where they are. Going We're going in. Are you crazy? Yeah. You can't go in there. Why not? Orange with this suit? <laughs> <laughs> Bam. And out. It looks like <laughs> we just miss it, actually, and just go behind yeah, it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Oh, I don't believe this. According to the Navi, come. This is it. Yes. 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 It looks like the beginning of The Simpsons. Yes. Like, calm down now, calm down. Yes. Didn't, that like begin- didn't that look like the beginning uh, of The Simpsons? Yeah, yeah, those clouds. They, the that's where cloud. they got the idea. Oh, and yeah. look, that's a man in the sky. Oh, well, the only thing is, this guy can't act as good as that yellow in. guy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I wearing round my leg? What's the matter? I don't know, I think I've got sore ribs. Hand me back. Is my eye bruised? I'm just tweaking a nipple, yeah, actually. Is it? <laughs> What's there? It's a Holman device. It'll find their flight recorder. It's a cheap prop, actually. Yeah. Isn't it, really? <laughs> Did it, when you tapped it, you could almost smell the plastic. It <laughs> 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 was a very handsome shot of you there, though, Craig. Looking very pensive. Well, pensive. Have we worked well. out where this park is. Oh, yet? I hate you doing that. Yeah, that can't have been lost. I had to walk backwards into the bloody lake. Um, with like m- bits of metal and stone in my pockets and submerge myself underwater wow. so that when they re- t- reverse the film. You were dry when you came out. Yeah, yeah. I'm dry. That's a out. very odd walk. <laughs> You're dry. That's weird. Let's take a look around. Maybe they left us a clue or something. Maybe they did. Maybe. Plop, plop, plop. What's this? <laughs> There's a clue. <laughs> What an act. You can yeah, already see yeah. what a hysterical <laughs> <laughs> but That, that <laughs> is an 80s double act, isn't it? On yeah. the comedy circuit. Yeah, it is, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> on the comedy circuit. It's Lee Evans down there on the right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course, Lee Evans was still at school when we did this. I mean, you know, we have to face these brutal facts. No, no. <sighs> I'm like Sherlock hey. Holmes here. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, that's a hell of a side party you've got there, boy. I'm telling you. Well, it was just trying to find new ways to wear the hair. That's how I got my British Empire side party. Oh, I saw Danny. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I thought, I've got to have that. <laughs> I was going to write in about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Cossack boots, you know. I didn't come here looking for trouble. I just came to do the Red Dwarf shuffle. <laughs> A little bit of clubland comes to yeah, yeah, Red yeah. Dwarf there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Maybe all these years on. Uh, a bit of, uh... That was the original So Solid. Let's go, go, come on. 
<laughs> I mean, some of the science in this, um, it just doesn't really work, does it? Yeah. Like, how can we, how can we speak yes. forwards and drink backwards at the same time? Yeah. Forward gear. It isn't forward gear. I think there's a license one has to say. Yeah, yeah, I think we did take it, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and you have, have you ever been on the back of a bike with, you know, Craig Charles <laughs> Craig driving? <laughs> Every time he gets on a bike in the show, I'm on the back. <laughs> right. Remember the big Harley? Yeah. I'm not moving another yard on this thing. I'm getting the pun in the back of my head. <laughs> 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 You probably have to queue up for a year to get this piece of crap. You probably have to be a government official to get one that goes forwards. A little bit of politics there. Yeah. Before the fall of the Iron Curtain, of course. <laughs> God. Was he a stuntman, this guy? Was he? Was a lot, there was a lot of stuntmen in this, wasn't there? What, this blue? What, does he need to be a stuntman to stand there like that? Yeah, he has to, it's dangerous. In a blue anorak? Uh, Albudski, Palski. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think once you, yeah, once you sort of just agree that there are going to be backwards gags all the way through it. It builds up quite nicely yes. to the conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does, it builds up to the, the to the confrontation in the pub, actually, isn't That's it? right, the unrumble, I, I believe. Oh. The, the great unrumble. Back of bikes, some back of vans, backwards. you've been at it everywhere, you Danny John Jules. Come on, dear. Some you went backwards, some was filmed backwards, the whole thing was completely confusing no, was, mm. for all concerned. We did spend a lot of time standing around going, yeah, but if... Yeah, but if he'd yeah. already gone backwards into the van... Then he'd already have... He'd already not be there. Odd choice of van, I thought. Mm, yeah, by all must look American. American. Was, it? was it an American van? I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. But we were starting to gear up to sort of being popular in America as well. We, we, we took a lot of American icons, didn't we? It's lucky! Yeah. Oh, hey. Mr. Hawksy. Mr. Tony Hawks with another bouffant hairstyle. Very nice. Absolutely. I saw him doing the um, the Oxford Cambridge boat <laughs> race on telly. Yes, I saw that. Doing what? Yeah. Commentating on it, was he? Yeah, I mean, he was doing an alternative course oh, right. along oh, the Thames. Yeah. What an act. Yeah, they were oh, fantastic. Bloody hell, fabulous it's Arthur Esky. Variety club history Look, is made. There he goes. That's the show. That's the joke. <laughs> For our first trick tonight, ladies and gentlemen, may part the Creighton. Creighton. Oh, you sold that well, Chris. <laughs> Money for old rope in that world. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, the spoils of the show. It's a moron convention. Unfortunately, that was the cast. <laughs> and what better way to round off a meal, ladies and gentlemen, than by drinking a glass of water, Creighton? <laughs> he was oh. living this part, wasn't he? I'm telling you, there's ham dripping off of him there. <laughs> ham dripping all off of him. Ham yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Salad all over the stage. Yeah, we, we can do that. We somewhere. should do that. We, we should, should tour it, yeah. Pantomime beckons, chaps. Bitter, two pints. What was, it, what was this actress yeah, called? Um, I remember. Um, Yo, mate, um, I, yeah, I knew it. There's, oh. there's Arthur Smith in the corner. Yeah. Brian. Ah, Two pints of Airskib, please. Air Can you believe that if you oh, record Airskib and turn it backwards, it says bitter? I know, isn't it weird? Mm. Yeah. You it's think it'd be lucky retic, that no you, rude yeah. words came out backwards through, yeah. wasn't it? That's right, when we rec Arthur Smith recorded that rant, you two. Yeah. Oh, there he and goes. if you played it backwards, you got you all the You can't do that anymore, poor old Arthur. Pauline, no, her name not drinking, was. is he? No. Pauline. 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 Yes, you're right, it was. Mm. It'll come back. Pauline Melville. Pauline yeah. Melville. Yeah. Good, you. This isn't Bulgaria. Look at that menu, Unem. It's English, but backwards. Everything's backwards. See, it came to me in the air. Yeah, you in worked it out, didn't you, Craig? That's brilliant. Yeah. You don't call me Sherlock for nothing. When in Rome, do the name or do. <laughs> 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 A little bit of spillage go back in there. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you don't want to... Oh, do you remember doing this now, scene? This, yeah, we got in trouble, didn't we? Yeah. We, got we, got, we got told off because we were piddling around so much. We've only been here three weeks and we're a big hit. Remember, everything is backwards. This speech by you, Chris, was through me completely. Do you remember? 
actually make a lot more sense. I remember the dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Just came out in the mirror. What was that? You have a funeral. What was in the mirror? You're right. Look. As each year passes, you get younger and younger until you become a newborn baby. Then you go back inside your mother, who goes back inside her mother, and so on, until eventually we all become one glorious whole. Rimmer, you are the R, one glorious whole. <laughs> You're totally flipped, man. We want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> delivered, sir. Very oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I thought that was. Okay, could be. Beseeching. No, there's a line coming out of Chris, we could, I couldn't look at him. The gajimbas will suddenly rise back into your body, and the next thing you know, you're singing soprano in the school choir. <laughs> I'm worse than that. In 25 years, I'll be a little sperm <laughs> swimming around in somebody's testicles. <laughs> I mean, pardon me, but that's just not how I saw my future. I'm telling you, things are better this way. <laughs> that was the one that goes, things are better this way. War. war is a wonderful thing here. In 50 years' time, the Sorry, folks, so we're just listening to the show. Not <laughs> <laughs> don't you worry. On it. It's a long time since Are I've you seen 25? this. 25? 25, yeah. Oh. First show, I was 23. Disband the third right. <laughs> Look at him sitting there like an old lovey. He is, yes. isn't he? It's like a thesp. It does, doesn't it? Well, that suits you, that that's look, That's exactly how he looks now. That's how he looks at home. It is, it it's is. Crazy. Crazy. Death, disease, famine. There's none of that here. <laughs> <laughs> That was it. That was the one. Oh, I love that one. That was it. There's none of that here. <laughs> OK, OK, but, but look at the flip side of the coin. It's not all good. Take someone like, say, St. Francis of Assisi. In this universe, he's the petty mad little sadist that goes around maiming small animals. <laughs> or Santa Claus. What a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> we, let them, we were allowed to use the yeah, B word then. Yeah, yeah, that was. <laughs> it was the wild 80s. Ah, oh, here comes oh, Arthur. Oh. Are they going to show this reversed on the. Uh, well, I DVD? didn't know what it was. Yeah. Good old rant here. Yeah. You're a pair of old something or others. No! <laughs> he just made this all up as he came in, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, no, there's no script for it, was there? No, no. Just... Man comes in and rants. <laughs> told you. And then he knocks. Yeah, he knocks at the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. What have you been with us all night? He says we'll never work the pub circuit again. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't, did you? No, I never did. No, that was the end of my career, really. Just the boards now, sir, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Theatres. <laughs> But Bobby, you had a lot of you were going through the gear changes then, like any yes. performer should, just to sort of nail try it. Try and find it. Try and find its, yeah. the pitch to do it. The at. optimum pitch or yeah. something. Yes, I haven't quite found it then, but you know. <laughs> well, nor had we in the <laughs> three series. <laughs> you know, nor had we. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, the key sheeting. You never tire of the, uh, <laughs> of the old eating yeah, backwards Yeah, sharing uh, a bit of backwards the eating. The studio audience is throwing up. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Good one, Dave. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all one-upmanship there, isn't it? <laughs> Anything you can do. <laughs> it's going to kick off now. Oh, yeah. oh no. Cover me back. Yeah. It's stuntman. It's He's a sweet man, He is a yeah. stuntman. He was yeah. well out, wasn't he? They were all well out. Yeah, I think he's a bit teed off because we've just uneaten his pie. Unbelievable. We didn't start a fight. Look, I'm sorry, man. We just... Now, that's when we realised you had to have had a black eye. All the time. Now he's just uncracked me ribs. I don't want any trouble. All this mess, all this debris. 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 This is from a fight we're about to have. About to have. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in a barroom brawl. <laughs> it's a barroom brawl. It's a barroom tidy. <laughs> One rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Madness. <laughs> 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 Crazy stuff. <laughs> Very Very punchy. Yeah. That was brilliant, wasn't it? God, it took hours to do this, though, didn't oh. it? <laughs> Where are you going, you coward? I've just worked out what happens to me back. Oh! Oh, wow, yeah, oh, I remember, remember this, going yeah. That? that was a few times from what I remember. <laughs> oh. That's his all own... All his, his own, own stunts. stunts. Yes, I was trying to say. Yeah. It's not Jackie Chan. 
Oh, and he gets a tooth put in. <laughs> oh. That guy really showed that tooth, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh, I have a tooth missing. <laughs> 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 All right, don't upset the bride. It's been a lovely night. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, gentlemen. Thanks for your support. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot something. <laughs> oh, this is sick. That noise. Oh, what the hell? It's for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder if that taxi's still going. Why, yeah. Right. They reversed the picture on this, so the, um, the what's his name? So taxi, went... the license yeah. plate. <laughs> you can't read it the other way around. <laughs> ah, a big gag at the end, I yeah. seem to remember. Yes, oh, I do God. Ow! <laughs> what is a favourite with most is, children? From the low this. comedy folder. Yeah. <laughs> this gag goes down in the anals of the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> that is the word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to stop him. <laughs> Wrecked him. <laughs> Nearly killed Damn him. Damn near killed him. Look, <laughs> oh, yeah. no, that, that, that's the walk, mate. Now, that's the walk you were trying for, wasn't it, Robert, before? Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> and we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a classic episode, wasn't it? Backwards. It's very yeah, often referred to. A lot of people love that one. Yeah. Not one of my favourite, personally. Is it not? Not no. one of mine, no. no I don't think it's me either, no. Well, but it, Maria it, Friedman, moments. it was. It was, oh, definitely. Yeah, no, we, you knew it was. Just sound better who was yeah. singing there. Dave Fox, Mark Allen. Oh, Dave yeah. Hodge. Dave Hodge, I remember Tony Stone. Tone. I remember Tony. Stella, Stella, Stella. 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 yeah. Stella, yeah. Peter, Peter Rag. Ed, Ed Wooden. Ed Wooden. Donna. Christina Hamilton. Donna, she used to call me Cretan. Oh, she, oh, no, it wasn't Donna. Cretan. Cretan Jones. I didn't know Christina Hamilton. John, John the Pop. Mel, 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 no longer with Mel us. Yeah. Yeah. Jacko. Jacko. Wacko Jacko. Uh, oh. There you go. Oh, yes. Uh, there the are the, three the famous three. The three the amigos. The three amigos. A PJP PJ production. Wow. wow. Good old Jacko. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, Chris. Hello. Well, yes. Uh, we now come on to Marooned. 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 Yeah. One like of Marooned. my personal favourite like episodes. Marooned. I like Marooned. I, 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 I like personally Marooned. don't like it. I don't like it either, Dan. Because no. I'm like not Marooned. in it. No, not me. <laughs> and I thought it was quite I, a rubbish. I, I really, <laughs> I, even though I was there morally supporting you, I really. Well, you were undermining hate, them, really. I really you, hated you yeah. this episode. <laughs> we had to film that snow scene the in snow Liverpool scene was... in that warehouse, yeah. and it was like the snow was look soap flakes. Yeah. And my eyes were red. Red raw by the end of it, really oh, it bad. bad it? Really soft hands. Robert's though, didn't eyes you? Were, were glued open. So he couldn't even close his eyes. Couldn't even blink my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, was... I start this one. Yeah, you start this one. Huh? This was your. This was your episode, love. Oh no, it wasn't. It was all about you. It was oh, all was about you. Yeah. I never realised. I hated it. About sitting, honor. I was oh, sitting no, in the dressing nice room. Colours. Sitting in the dressing room, watching the monitor, and these two gits <laughs> getting laughs left, right, and centre. Who was it? Yeah. Who's it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good one to do, actually. I think if we did a Craig. stage play, uh, it would be a great Chris stage Craig play. Yeah. Basking in all that glory and me sitting in the dressing room. Well, I think there was oh, a pecking order. Oh, is this order. one about... Was we were pecking him, maybe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we were doing yeah. the pecking. Yeah, that's right. I think you're right. <laughs> look, look, you can see the smarmy oh, look, look on his face, mate. <laughs> look, I've got a half an hour episode coming up now. <laughs> So it's a smarmy look that says there's lots of bloody good gags and they're yes. going to be in the bag in 20 minutes' yes, time. That's it, that's it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and there's, there's the, the case. Comes crying, the big skiffy, just and carrying no, the glory. No in Daddy the John Jules um, uh, riding on our coat sail, stealing the woofer. That's right. Look, they, look, 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 set up look, look at the look, look in his face. You can chest. see it, can't you? Look, look at the joy in his face. Look, look, look at the two of them, smarmy. They love it. They love it. Your hair had a life of its own then, I didn't yes. realise. Mm. Didn't notice it so much at the time, did we? But his hair was quite that oh, weird. Oh, look at the parting. He's ripped off me parting from that last episode, look. Scrimp and scrape by tossing the odd cobbler. Look, uh, here you go. The old one inch below the, above the ear, look, rather than below. Very important. Yeah. 
the old Bobby Charlton. To borrow money off me to buy me a birthday present? <laughs> That's going back a bit, Lister. It's only 15 quid. Right, yeah, 15 quid. And what do they get? A five quid book token. Ooh, strange camera, that one. Yeah, odd shot, wasn't it? Oh, handheld. And, oh, what's, oh, that, what's, a, that, what's that, that, that there? That, yeah. yeah, that's supposed to be um, CSO'd in something, but thing. there's nothing there. Oh, oh no. Not our responsibility. Oh, I think that was, I think that was my that. first line. That was my first line on Red Dwarf Ever. Blue, Blue Midget is loaded. Really Blue Midget point. is loaded. Blue Midget is loaded. Who did Danny come as? Danny, one of the of more memorable. Was of 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 Classic 80s band. <laughs> and I ran, no, I ran I so we far away. I think we were in the same away. band, actually, Chris. <laughs> it's the tie and the collar that get me. You do look like a pair of new romantics. Like no matter how much we try, it just goes to show you can't get the 80s, the decade yeah, out of yeah, what you look that, like. Yeah. You know? We still look like a load of twonks. <laughs> <laughs> Twonk. Twonk. Back to reality. I'll navigate oh, red blue midget. Of black holes. If all goes I liked well, all those model the shots. Of... <laughs> <laughs> but what happens if all doesn't go well? Well, red to wolf and everything in it will be compacted down to the side. Oh, I sound so common, don't I? You do. Fly me. You're not like that in real life, no, are you? No, nothing you're like much, it. Because you're actually oh, wash, but you're hidden oh, yeah. in the public. Look That's at right. that bit of the old uh, oh. plumber's mate there, the old. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How's that going to look? What's Lieutenant General Baron Jackino of the 1st Cavalry Division supposed to be doing with Meat Vindaloo all over his tunic? <laughs> It'll make him look more authentic. People it's, think look at that this. chart looking acting. Yeah, uh, that's brilliant. That is it's the pensive bit with the hat, you know, with the mm. fingers on the bottom. Yes. Like toy soldiers. You, you it's almost a sense of foreboding that you can sense something might go wrong with this particular mission. Absolutely. Ah, yes. you know, there's so many layers in your performance, Chris, you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many layers of that, whatever it is, chili, <laughs> sea, <laughs> that kind of cat food. They used to give us some awful food. It was like in Vietnam or something. Planet Leaf, Miranda, that space bar. They used to give us some awful food, aren't they, didn't they? <laughs> Most of it was because you hadn't finished your lunch and you just took it on set, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that was the case. But you started. Some time in there, so it was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful like reaction shot there, Chris, as well. It's very nice. That's well, like I, I, I I've in, learned though. to ride the laughs over the years. Yeah, you've yeah. got to ride them, ain't you? You can't stamp on them. Sure. You've got to ride, ride them. Right to his face. Right to his face. <laughs> when he was his four biggest mates. See, that's and the thing with the studio all audience, isn't it? You can play them for music. real. Well, I could have got mm. hurt. God, that was a bit high, wasn't it? A brilliant general, wouldn't you? And then he went with him, see? He yeah. went up with him. Well, I love his lines. I love his lines. Bottle, stick them in your face and say, Stitch that Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> the generals are in the nice white tent, tent on the, the hill. hill. Sipping sods, uh, <laughs> directing the battle. <laughs> Men of honour. <laughs> Don't believe you, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Something I've never told anyone. Oh, long speech. Oh, 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 on the page, yeah. It was, it was me nodding off, into your seats. nodding off into my chicken vindaloo here. <laughs> the first time in my yeah. whole life I felt, I felt I was home. Oh, this oh, palace yeah. was where I belonged. Years later, oh. I got friendly with a hypnotherapist. Years oh, later, I look up yeah. there, hopefully remember the next bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, see, that's Did you me. have it written on the ceiling? I'm sitting there thinking now, is that girl going to turn up at the hotel tonight? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, did I leave the key under no, no, the door? I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> is Craig going to turn up at the hotel tonight? <laughs> that palace was my home. Because you see, Lister, believe it or not, he told me <laughs> that in a previous incarnation, <laughs> I was... Alexander the Great's <laughs> chief eunuch. Yeah. Let's see what oh, you did boom, there. Boom. Was that a moment that where we kept was. trying? I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say I was Alexander the Great himself, which is obviously what I wanted to hear, but it explained everything. I'd lived a past life alongside one of the greatest generals in history. No wonder the military's in my blood. I know it's hard not to commentate over such wonderful... Yes. I did. Oh, yeah. hello. That's, that's what, but we must commentate. Know, that's Some of those have just mesmerised me. No, I'm just yeah. I'm, by I'm, I've been sucked you know, During all this, this sequence here, I was thinking about Danny yeah. Yeah. Were you? and Robert. Right. Were you worrying yeah. about us? Worried about I was worried us. about all you guys so sitting out there. You know what? Where are their lines? Doing Where are their nothing lines? for the money. Is that what Bob, you were he was yeah. thinking before this trip, we could have given him a couple of gags. Absolutely. <laughs> I remember you saying, couldn't Danny and Robert say some of these? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you another There's thing, too though. too many here. You in, I know, you're in the back part of Starbuck, aren't you? Because it looks like it's bigger. Now that, all right. Because we all got cramped in the front eventually. There was a lot of room in there then. Mm. Way, look. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look. Swirly, swirly thing. Yeah, swirly thing, yeah. 
for those of us who know. Oh. Shake, rattling, rolling onto the planet. Oh, oh there we go. Another oh, this is a really good sequence. Crashing oh, into the snow. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that. You Star can't Book's do that with CGI. so many times, though, hasn't it? That it must be made yeah. out of that stuff that the little black box recorders made yeah. out of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always survives, doesn't it? Yeah. It always survives. Oh. Ooh, that's that's chilly, that cost the, oh, it's that a, cost so much. Cost so much to, to freeze film. that whole part. Oh, I, I was freezing when I was. Well, look, you can't that do bit. that with CGI. That's that's pure washing powder. Here that's, we go. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. in the yeah. eyes and everything. Oh, that Here was bad. Goes, look. <laughs> oh. that very heavy duty wind machine. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, that had to hang on the face. You get more ham and a pound with yeah, that. You do. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, dear me. <laughs> Look painful. Oh. Yeah. A nice thud against wood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that great big wooden iceberg there. Isn't it? There's someone just to the Look. side, just well, the side of the screen there, like that, with, with, with polystyrene rubbing it between yeah. his hands. <laughs> That's Still an enormous snowing, red dwarf badge you've got on there, because I don't remember yeah, that either. enormous. It's like the Franklin badge. <laughs> Craig's got That's one on. That's a plate. Look. He must be looking for us by now. With a smeg of Whipped cream all over himself. Well, they could be ten feet away and walk straight past us. We're going to die, aren't we? We're going to die. Oh, oh, it's got very emotional, this episode, didn't it? a bag of soggy, mm. smoky bacon crisps. <laughs> <laughs> A tin of mustard powder, three water biscuits, a brown lemon, two bottles of vinegar, and a tube of Bongella gum oil. Could have got a for each one. Oh, no, yeah. Bongella it's gum ointment, that's classic. Box. It's that minty flavour, it's quite nice. <laughs> it's quite nice if you smear it on your mouth all serimmer. You can't sit down and eat it. You may have to. <laughs> and that's it, there's nothing else. Just a pot noodle. <laughs> Oh, and I found a tin of dog food in the tool cupboard. Well, it's obvious what gets eaten last, then, isn't it? Can't stand pot noodles. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die, aren't we? Correction, I'm gonna die. I mean, you're a hologram, you're ready, that you don't need food. Bit of plot there. Find yes. Just, just to remind the viewer. Just to remind yeah, you are a hologram. Just a, just, a, just a wasteland. I've gone from freezing to sweat dripping off me. <laughs> That's true. It was very cold. It was so cold you were sweating. Condensation. Uh, it could be frost on your forehead. No, just one. You ate less than 16 hours ago. The raw sprout and that was a chewing on a file stuck under the desk. Look, you've got to pace yourself. He can't. The good bit of acting from you, Chris, is you can't hide your sense of enjoyment of my predicament. Yeah, that's it. Mayday, mayday. I wonder why they call it Mayday. <laughs> I do remember this. Yeah. No, I don't it's remember a stress this. Call. I wonder why it's Mayday. It's only a bank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> why not Shrove Tuesday or Ascension Sunday? <laughs> Ascension Sunday. I think people <laughs> still wonder about that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wonder too long. I just knew it was a big laugh. <laughs> yeah, good job with it. French, you doink. Mayday, help me. Mayday. Is that right? If you were a look, reminds me of food. Look at these books. <laughs> Charles Lamb. <laughs> Herman Wok. <laughs> the complete weight is a Francis Bacon. <laughs> Eric Van Lustbader. Eric Van Lustbader? What's he got to do with food? Van. Meat Van. Red Van. Very <laughs> <laughs> ten oh, yeah. tenuous yeah. link there. I can't remember Someone where that was going then. Someone put them here to taunt me. Look at this one. The Caretaker by Harold Pinter. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pinter. <laughs> Look, stop thinking about food. Take my mind off it, then talk to me about something. Like what? Anything. Um, There's a lot of handheld, if I remember, in this one, wasn't yeah. there? Five cameras. Yeah, yeah. yeah you had five Four handheld cameras. Topic. Don't mention topics. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaning over story, each other trying to get the story. shot. I don't know any stories. Anything. <laughs> Tell me how you lost your virginity. My what? <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> how I lost it? Well, it was so long ago, Lister. I was so young and sexually precocious, I'm not sure I can remember. Oh, dear. <laughs> I can remember how they lost the virginity. It's just one of those things. Like, everyone can remember where they were the day Cliff Richard was shot. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten that line. Yeah. I've completely forgotten that line. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it still never happened, yes. so it doesn't have to be it's funny. rewritten. It's just one of those things. 
I ended up on stage with him. That was even funnier. Did you wear? In time. In I, time yeah. I sang a duet with Cliff. Oh, you've done time. You've I've done, done time, time with I thought Cliff. you looked a bit shady. I, well, it's changed my career. <laughs> I think it would. <laughs> and my lifestyle. <laughs> I tell, really. I was always a bit of a fish out of water around women. Let the background noise there. Yeah, the... Mm. Yeah, the wind. Just the right amount. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it was just, whose wind was it, though? <laughs> I think it was all that school cabbage I was forced to eat as a boy. <laughs> Still, the first ever time, the first time was with this girl I met at cadet school called Sandra. We did it in the back of my brother's car. <laughs> I do remember this. That's oh, great, yeah, right? I remember this. Incredible. <laughs> Bentley V8 converter. Yeah. <laughs> Total Chris Barry line, that is. <laughs> Worn up by a panelling, that was it. <laughs> That's not Rimmer, that is Chris Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Fisher. I've never done it in the back of a Bentley. Have you never done it? Oh, seats. Oh, you the seats. You can't mess them up. <laughs> They're very slippery. Yeah. You can put a blanket down. <laughs> a blanket in the Bentley, love. <laughs> How'd you have the nerve? It wasn't in the middle of the ride the cup or anything. <laughs> it was midnight. How old were you? She was so good looking if she wanted. She could have got a job working behind the perfume counter at Lewis's. <laughs> That's how gorgeous she was. How old were you? She just took all her clothes off and stood there in front of me completely naked. I was so excited that nearly dropped my skateboard. I knew there was a skateboard yeah. reference. How old were you? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve? Twelve years old? You lost your virginity when you were Twelve? Well, <laughs> you can't have been a full member of the golf club. <laughs> of course, I wasn't. You did it on a golf course and you weren't a member. Of course, I wasn't. You didn't pay any green fees or anything. It was just a place to go. I used to play golf. I hate people who abuse the facility. <laughs> Hope you raked the sand back nicely before you... <laughs> that would be a hell of a lie to get into, wouldn't it? <laughs> Competition the next day, your ball lands in Lister's buttock crevice. <laughs> it's a brilliant line, this one. You'd more than a niblick to get that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I've got a big bump. Ah, uh, this one. Like yeah. two badly Bad parked Volkswagen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I ever lost when I was 12 were my shoes with the compass in the heel and the animal tracks on the sole. <laughs> Porky Roebuck threw them in the septic tank behind the sports ground. <laughs> I cried for weeks. I was wearing them. <laughs> oh, the delivery. Ba-bum-ba-bum-ba-bum, <laughs> Chris. I mean, you just got them there. This yeah. used to be Alexander the Great's chief eunuch. <laughs> what are you doing? On with the plot. Yeah. Yes, we're yeah. going to drive that one on. What are you doing? Got those games You've got the, the gags in. Get bang, bang, bang. Get the characterisation out of the way. This is very character, this... this. <laughs> Both That's sitting there, so both nice. richer men at the moment, sir. Oh, no, yes. Yeah. At the gag bank. Yeah. <laughs> the National Wolf Mitzvah Bank. A couple of comedy actors out the back, they're going, let me, yeah. let me on. Let me on. in. Let me on. <laughs> we're eat, we, 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 all we were doing is eating food, I think. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. no, I, I was watching you eat food, Dan. I was just, yeah, you know, I the, the floor eat manager, call, call the two saddos. <laughs> the two <Yeah>. saddos. <laughs> Robbie and Danny. Uh -huh. I ate a whole tin of biscuits during this one, I think. And it's true, isn't it? You've gone without food for tea time assorted. Barbarian. I'm just being in a book. But it's not just a book. But it's actually, you learnt your lines, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Why well, are we going to give me auto cue? And I thought, well, I have about five lines a week, and surely I can remember them. Norman used to read us off a screen. Yeah, he had to have a screen, didn't he, poor Norman? No, but then he started doing them. He started learning them, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. Yeah, latterly. He started learning them, yeah. I think it was after, sort of, I don't know. West Side Story, that's basically it. <laughs> You're about to lose it there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not all the way through, no. <laughs> but I can quote some, though. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and they Classic, Chris. Oh. I'll, I'll give you this. Now! <laughs> wow. That's all I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from, then? Richard the Third, you moron. That brilliant now speech. He does at the beginning. Now something, something, something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Unforgettable. <laughs> I'll save it until last. Lolita. Is it okay for being Lolita? Save page 61. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever looked up page 61? We must have done at the time. It's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, 
fantastic work. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful, oh, isn't it? That's a beautiful shot. Yeah. Freeze, just watching. Are we, are, we, are we allowed in yet, Bob? No, 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 no we're still not there yet. yet. There's yeah. more, more ham to go then. No, it's a long time before yeah. I get the snowflakes blown in my eyes. Sacrilege burning. Oh, now this was classic. Oh, this was, oh. The amount of times we've been asked, that was, that was dog food, wasn't it, Craig? It really uh, was. There's so many, so many people have asked this, and that is proper marabong jelly on the top, that oh. quivering away. Look at the upstaging acting in yeah, the yeah, yeah, Terrible yeah, yeah. 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 I haven't eaten for six days, I'm going to eat the dog food. I'm sure the dog food will be lovely. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this isn't dog food. No. This is a piece of prime fillet steak in blue cheese sauce. I only had half a tooth. Charcoal broiled Did you? Yeah, mm. I thought that. That Craig. was at the beginning. Mm, yeah. That was tuna, wasn't it? Looks a bit gappy. It looks like tuna, doesn't it? It was tuna. Yeah, tuna was with... Um... Oh, I think I'd rather eat dog food. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> well, now I can see why dogs lick the testicles. <laughs> yeah. oh. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Woofter, wasn't it, he used to say? The taste of the food. A woofer. A woofer. A woofer, it was a woofer. Woofer or woofter? No, woofer. woofer. Like base woofer, woofer man. It's the last one. No, Bobby what walks like a woofter. <laughs> that is a woofer. <laughs> I opened the National Woofminster Bank. The Woofminster Bank, Bank that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You yes, remember? Cash, cash your woofs at I the Woofminster Bank. I cashed them in every week. No, it's not the trunk, it's Javanese cash. Craig was on direct. The whole story, though, the way this is put together is beautiful. Clever, isn't, isn't it? Exactly uh, about well. honour. Craig, yeah. you're only saying that because you're in it. No, 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 no I'm just like the whole script. The way it's yeah, if that was me and Robert's show, you'd have been saying, I never liked this show. Never liked it. Never liked it. That is true. Never liked it. Never liked this one. Never felt it worked. I don't think it works, Bobby. You know. It would have been much better if me and Chris started this. Uh, <laughs> oh, burning the money, that's good. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know, Bob, they may as well been burning our contracts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it may as well be. There's a slight difference between the Premier League and the First Division. <laughs> First division, we got that far. Oh, We've done well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure hovering around the relegation area. He's been using this episode, isn't he? Like a bundle in some swanky Islington antique shop, but right here and right now, all the honest nice. <laughs> Look at the faces. Look. You see, Craig, you see, he's got that soldier in his hand. Yeah. It, isn't it amazing how he's sort of rubbing it like an Oscar? Oh, he's like an Oscar, yeah. Is that, is that, what's he trying to say? <laughs> a, a sort of subliminal message to the BAFTA lot. Yeah. <laughs> they never got it. No. No. Your guitar. Except my guitar. Do we, we get a tune, don't we? We get a <laughs> We get a bit of a performance. It's made of wood. Yeah, but it's my guitar. I've had it since I was 16. That is an authentic Les Paul copy. <laughs> it's not worth anything. It's just a thing, just a possession. Yeah, but it's mine. How is it any different from my soldiers? That's my lifeline. I need that guitar. I mean, when it gets to me, I mean, the loneliness and all that. Oh. When it gets on top of me. <laughs> oh, oh, scrape the ham off the walls. Scrape the ham off the bone. God, <laughs> it's a butcher shop window, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it's more of a hey. T-bone steak. I'd say it was a quality piece of cut of meat, that was. Oh, oh dear. dear. It's a piece of well-cooked pork we're seeing there. I'll oh, get Branston <laughs> pickle with that. <laughs> quality rump. <laughs> Hold on, show him in salad, Chris. Don't make me burn it. Don't make me burn it. Sotto voce. Look, look, look watch yeah, this. Sotto voce. Sympathy. What did you say? You said, you've got, got to. to. <laughs> that was how, that was how <laughs> sympathetic <laughs> you were. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Chris came along and wrapped him in a bit of lettuce there, look. <laughs> I mean, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you give a last little tune on it? Excellent. There's a tune. I know what he's going to sing. Have you seen it before, then? <laughs> no, I just remember banging my head on the dressing room wall. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh! You taught me this one. It's the first song I ever learned to play. <clears throat> Just gonna. Uh, oh, oh dearie me! Live or die. <laughs> She's out of my eye. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie <laughs> me! <laughs> Total ham. A performance within a performance. Oh, there. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Let's sit. <laughs> I'm going for a wander in the amongst the soap flakes. 
That pencil was really marking the work camp for your chest as well, wasn't it? God, that's how long you would have been gone. <laughs> oh, it's really uh, camphor wood. Yeah, you can tell that's solid camphor wood, <laughs> that piece of polystyrene. Yeah. <laughs> uh. That would have taken about two days yeah. to do. Yeah, to model that. <laughs> Ow, oh, I didn't ah, oh. it, you know. Did it? <laughs> yeah. I remember that's, that's real work, having, a bru uh, having a bruise on my thigh the next day. <laughs> Ah, blazing. Wow. You're right, you must have been some time. I don't yeah. know what to say. There's nothing to say. You've made a supreme sacrifice, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> a supreme sacrifice. Had to be done. I've been judging the book by its cover, haven't I? All these years, that's what I've been doing. And when it really comes down to it, you are one heck of a regular guy. <laughs> <laughs> one heck of a regular guy. Hey. I know what that guitar meant to you. It means exactly the same as that. <laughs> yeah, this is piling it on. Yeah. This is great. If that trunk got so much as scratched, <laughs> I would be devastated. <laughs> it's not the outward value. To me, that trunk is a link to the past. A link to the father I never managed to square things with. Is it? That trunk is the only thing he ever gave me, apart from, apart from his disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Great speech. And yeah, to, me, to do. Guitar, yeah. What true value really is. Decency. And from where I'm standing, I'm a pretty rich man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Burn the soldiers. Well, not the soldiers as well. <laughs> You burned your guitar, I want to make a sacrifice too. Burn the Armé du Nord, cast them to the flames, <laughs> and lay down their lives for the sake of friendship. <laughs> the Armé du Nord. It's so well written yeah. now, that got, the boys did a good smell. job, didn't they? What smell? I can't smell any smell. <laughs> smell any <Capital> smell. <laughs> you think he's nearly got it here, yeah. you think he's got it. Your guitar was made of camphor wood. <laughs> yeah. It must have been worth a fortune. Burn the soldiers, burn them right yeah. now. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm just so buckled, buckled by your stupidity, actually. Oh, here we are, Dan. Oh, yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, what a roll we got. There you go. Oh, oh, we were yeah, 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 Look at that. Bolting on those comedy props. That's Absolutely. <laughs> Have we got any lines to see if we can get a laugh out of the bus? there with full equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you give an early form of the um, Rimmer salute here, Chris? I can't remember. Um, well, that's, that's, that's series three form of salute. Oh, oh yeah. There he goes. Oh. Au revoir, mes amis. A bientôt. Bilingual. Yeah, no. Any language. Any language you can do. If it's obviously got a week steady on. Yeah. <laughs> Ham in any language. Hey, Dr. Oh, Chibago. God. A subtle entrance. Yeah, there you go. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> so where have you been over the last few days? Oh, we rendezvoused with Holly, and then when you didn't show up after two days, I said we should go and look Joan for Joan Collins, isn't it? Yeah, we've yeah. everywhere. Fourteen moons, two planets. I've been so worried, I haven't buffed my shoes for two days. <laughs> so Holly managed to navigate her way through... I was glad to hear that laugh. As it transpired, there weren't any black holes. Ooh. When you saw See? them on the monitor... Great. If I remember rightly. I think it was grit, wasn't it? Grit. grit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Five specks of grit on the scanner scope. You see, the thing about grit is it's black. <laughs> and the thing about the scanner scope... Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, so rude. Grit. Something happened here, Crichton. Something that made him and me closer. I saw a side of Dave Lister that I never, ever knew. <laughs> It's just cranking yeah. it up, isn't it? He's a man. A man of honour. That's what it was going to be called, wasn't it? Man of Honour. Yes, mm, so that's oh. right. Was it, that was the title. I've got a script it? of it with Man of Honour written on it. Have you? Yeah. That's a few bob, I bet. How long do you leave it? How long do you leave that, Chris? Uh, before it all sinks in. <laughs> <laughs> Crash helmet in there. Open the trunk. It's a space helmet. Well, sir, there appears to be a guitar shaped. Yes. 
Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Crichton, get the hacksaw and follow me. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to do to Lister what Alexander the Great once did to me. <laughs> uh, it all ties up at the end. Beautiful. Sorry, sir. Up. Lovely. It's good story. Beautifully written. Feels a little bit longer than half an hour as well, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, so much <laughs> stuff happening. But it's beautifully it? acted. It has to be said, guys. Oh, Hats off. No. Oh, All darling. credit where it's due. Marvellous yeah. performance, Danny. Brilliant. Absolutely. Danny was, I was happy. <laughs> you were brilliant. Livened up at the end with the bloke with the pink darling. things came on. Yeah. No, one, <laughs> no one can say grit like that. It's a toilet. Grit. Oh, thank can you. You just gave that grit said grit. Huge laugh. Grit. It wouldn't have worked. No. It's too new to drop that tea. It's grit. It's grit. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. You bloody marvellous all of you. So that I was our first one. That was, that was that my was, first one, yeah. Yeah, it was me and Robert's first one. Yeah. Well, apart from buh, being buh, Gilly. Well, we, we ease you in quite smoothly. Can you squeeze out a minute, Christopher? Of course you can, darling. Christophe, sir. This week's Red Dwarf contains yes, scenes which uh, are series three continues, folks, and we now uh, make way for Polymorph. You have been now, who did that voiceover from that? Was that? Wasn't what, that guy? I don't that? remember that. That was you, Chris. Then was that really funny? Oh, what just now? Wasn't it the guy no, the that did, did the voice? denim no, advert? I don't know who did that, that one. Remember um, he did denim. For a Bill. Um, um, that's right. Bill Mitchell. Bill Mitchell. Bill Mitchell. Did he do that? Bill Wallace. Or Bill Wallace. Mitchell, I think. Bill Wallace. We'll see. We'll watch well, the credits. Well, yeah, we'll look at the credits. We'll remember. <laughs> yeah, that's in a twenty. Sure, uh, far away. And, a half time. and this is Polymorph, isn't it? Yeah. The show that launched a million T-shirts. That's right. Let's get out there and twat it. Oh yeah. yeah. And, Ooh. And um, Chris's um, give Keisha a chance speech. Oh, yeah, I think it's so. a beautiful speech. Oh, is this the facilitator? Yes. Oh, I love that. Ah, now look at that. That was really floating in space, wasn't it, that thing? Keisha Chansky. <laughs> Do not attempt to open this pod. Do not attempt to open this pod. Extremely hostile. Psyche. We could have done that voiceover for nothing. What was that? I don't know who that was. What was that? What's that, uh, Bill Wallace? I'm not I'm thinking sure. it sounds like you, Bob. Daddy used to do it in yeah, rehearsals, didn't he? Yeah. Daddy used to do it in rehearsals. Mm. But we dropped it because it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was because Chris said, I'm not working with anyone else who does voiceovers. That's probably um, right. That's I'm not necessarily better. true. Remember, we used, to, we used to be in awe of the voiceover master. So. Now, I bet there's some sad anorak who knows every oh, bloody yeah. thing that appeared in that, you know. Oh, I like the, the rabbit, though. Bunny. You know, and if yeah. you do know, go and get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh. if you do know, actually, could you write to Craig Charles, yeah, the courtesy of the BBC, <laughs> and he will definitely not answer your mail. Those rabbits had a handler, do you remember? Yeah. Yes. So did mm. Craig. Well, and there was the snake. We had the snake on this one, didn't we? And the tarantula. Is the tarantula right. in this one? Oh. Oh, I know what else is in this one as well. Oh, this is the oh, oh, you and the, the Hoover. old penny, the yeah. Hoover, the grand old famous Hoover. underpants, yeah. isn't it? This yeah. is it. This oh, is the oh, famous yeah. drinking yeah, underpants scene. <laughs> the groinal socket. Oh Oy. my days! That was the first appearance of the groinal socket. Wasn't it? Was, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you ever use it again? Oh, we've used it a lot. Oh. He never used it on the show. He used to take it home a lot, though. Yeah, I can say. Actually, Crichton's a bit more Crichton-esque in this one. He's starting to get the character, isn't he? He's starting to find you. Starting to find yep, your feet. I was finding my feet getting by there, now. Getting there. Starting to well, find you, your if feet. Well, you, you know, give an actor a groinal socket, and you can work with it. You've yeah, got exactly. something to work with, then. You know. Finding your feet and your groinal so, socket. Getting people to look you in the eyes is quite difficult, though, I should imagine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I better uh, change the old bag there. Yes. Oh, just go and get a fresh one. Searching for the lines yeah. there, Bobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, change the old, uh, what do I have to do? Like the bag, off? the bag. How do I get off? There's, there's yeah. an exit line. Is where I get off? I don't know what it is. Done the penny gag, what next? <laughs> 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 oh, that's the end of it. Oh, I better go. I'll go and. Yeah, you've really made an effort here. Where'd you get all oh, this stuff? Remember this oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, now. all the medical stuff. It's the medical unit and nick some gear. This is a scalpel. <laughs> uh. I'm supposed to cut my food with a scalpel? Something that's been inside someone's looking guts. Good. Series yeah. three, looking good. Looking good, Dan. You look good. <laughs> looking good. Series three, boy. Hey. Look at that hair. Look, look at back that to the hair. basic look at that. 
Look, yeah. Elvis has left the building. Oh. And Danny's come into the building. And I've come in, boy. By the cat flap. The refrigeration unit. How many times? It's clean. It's been cleaned. Salad, and the kidney bowls. Next to the colostomy bag, the chili sauce. Yeah, the series three. Oh, yeah. The makeup was definitely banging on series three, boy. Wasn't it? Yeah. Look at that hair, that man. That hair is immaculate. Man. Immaculate. Yeah. Could never get that again, though. <laughs> I was searching for that hairstyle, but it never came. You probably again. see the bloke's arm in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a silly gag, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's how it's I not cook. like a normal red dwarf gag, is it? Oh, you can see the yeah. guy. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> What can you see? You can see the <laughs> plates arrive. <laughs> One kebab for you. One kebab for me. So you're uh, right, it's not really a Red Dwarf gag, that, is it? No, it's no. not. It's, more of a, it's a, such a sort of spoofy gag, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a syringe. <laughs> what kind of syringe? It sort of owes its comedy to Russ Abbott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been washed, it's clean, it's all been sterilised. You want lemon juice or what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what, what about the meal? This isn't a meal, this is an autopsy. Boom. This isn't the starter, man. What about the main course? Hey, you think I got nothing better to do than hang around watching you serve chicken chasser and a, a stool, stool bucket? bucket. <laughs> Charming. Charming. I don't know. You pull out all the stops. You make an effort. Uh... Try and do something with a little bit of extra. Because it's all been sterilised. <laughs> mm, very cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'd put my basketball put on me dinner. <laughs> yeah, as you do. As you always do, don't you? Yeah. I'm always doing that. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, this was the blubbery fish line, wasn't it? This is more idiot boards in this scene. Sorry to interrupt, sir. I just. Although the piskeen, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Bryden, it's all right. Just running a few of the old home movies. <laughs> That's me there. Those are my brothers, John, Frank, and Howard. Oh, yes. Look, I, you see me looking down at the lines there. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Could not learn this speech. Actually, they always let me be the Queen of Spain. <laughs> I mean, yes, I was the butt of the occasion. Original joke. Nothing sinister. And just the uh. usual boyhood pranks, you know, apple pie beds and uh, black eye telescope. And one time, they even hid a small landmine in my sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> Took it from my father's gun cabinet. And how were they supposed to know it was going to go off? <laughs> Marvellous guys. I wonder, who's that there? An old girlfriend, Mr. Arnold, sir? <laughs> Hardly. Oh, no, not really your type, I suppose. Silly old trout like that. <laughs> She's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, Here we go. Oh, how can I forget it, sir? I compared your mother to a foolish, aged, blubbery fish. I, I said she was a... <laughs> reading, yeah, yeah. reading away that. But they weren't there. <laughs> there was people crawling around my feet with idiot boards. In fact, I actually did know it. That's the irony. It always, it always is the way. Lucky you didn't need reading glasses as well. Yeah, I, know, I wouldn't be able to do it now. I'd have to get my specs out. Yeah. Son of mollusk. <laughs> Well disguised, though, Bob. Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad, was it? No, that's the professional one. Well, I mean, you know. Yes. Very prim, very proper. Some say austere. Some people took her for cold, thought she was aloof. Not a bit of it. Just despised idiots. No <laughs> <laughs> Tragic, really, otherwise we'd have got on famous. Uh, <laughs> it's so heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It? This is very clearly a, a very private family moment. I've, uh, I've no fish to embarrass you further. Oh! I'll, I'll let myself trout. <laughs> I don't want you to panic, Aunt, but it does appear there's a very tiny possibility that there may very well, in all likelihood, possibly be a non-human life form on board. You mean like last time, when you got us all worked up, we went scooting off down to the cargo bay, complete with bazookoids and backpacks, and it turned out to be one of this very socks. throwaway, flyaway hair on the rim of there, isn't mm. it? Very, isn't it? I'm amazed by the hair. Yeah. What, his hair or my hair? No, your oh, hair's lovely. Your hair's just it's immaculate. You. Immaculately Some cut. people think it's a wig, but it's not. It's not, that's your no. real hair, isn't it, Hat? It's my real hair, and it still is, and it was before I started doing this whole series. I know, It's so wrong that people think it's a wig. And it will be forever. Probably, yeah. What the hell was that? Enjoying your meals, sir. It's me. Meals, sir? 
It's beautiful, man. It's like eating molten lava. Oh, my God. Oh, it, it was the, it, here it goes. Here it is the killer kebab. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Oh, it's disgusting. Oh. It's so disgusting. Good work, killer. I've still never seen a kebab like that, I have to say. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Took Excellent. ages getting oh, that, didn't it? Yeah. That twine to get round my neck. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. What? How could that be? Where could it go? Oh, there's my underpants then. Oh, I better put these on. Something very, very. Why weren't the underpants put on in the earlier scene? When? Well, no, they just because they were. It was a kebab two seconds ago, and it, it transmogrified it's itself into a. Right, so it, it, put them on the pants. Oh, this is the longest laugh in It was, wasn't it? Yeah. We couldn't hear each other speak, could we? The thing was, you weren't even kissing me while you were doing I know. it. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm totally shocked. <laughs> Look at that. You'll bonk anything, won't you, Lister? <laughs> right in the boxes. Where are they? I threw them over here. Sure. Which snake is this? This is um, an. It's not the it original the snake, is it? Yeah, python. No, there it's a python. Yeah, there's the real snake. Yeah, but yeah. like. Oh, see there? Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. that's realistic. <laughs> that's realistic. There you go. Special effects for you. Yeah. How was the python bobbing? Is it right? It was very heavy. Yeah. Very, very heavy. It was like having a teenage kid on your shoulder. It was a little big thing. <laughs> Not as big as that. Oh, no, that was slightly heavier, wasn't it? <laughs> Were you scared? Uh, well, only when the, the snake handler said, look, it's bitten me all over my arm and it hasn't killed me. She had loads right. of puncture marks in her arm. I went, oh, I see. So, you know, it does bite. Yeah. But, I mean, it didn't bite me, so I it wasn't. pythons squashed you to death. Well, they do, but they will also give you a little nip. If they're Can nasty they? as well. Yeah. I can't remember what her name was. She had a name like Betty or Ethel or something, the, the python. Mm. It was kind of odd. So it was a python, it wasn't a boa constrictor? Or was it a boa constrictor? I've I got no idea. Oh, I think it was a python. Please write in with your... <laughs> that sort of postcard, please. That sort of postcard, yes. please. I don't think Betty when I see that stuff. No. Betty. It's insane. It feeds off your negative emotions. Fear, guilt, anger, paranoia, drink. There's the setup. Bit of a plot line there from yeah. Betty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, moving it along. Yeah, move the story along, please, Hat. In Lister's case, it took him to the very limit of his terror. So are you now. Sucked out yeah. his fear. So now Lister's got... Craig trying to give it to Bruce Willis. No fear. Yeah, yeah. He's got no bit fear. Bit of unshaven. That's it. Well, actually, let's get out oh, there and look. swat it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I could have had it in the sleeping quarters, but you saw it. You saw it. It took me by surprise. Lister, it turned into an eight-foot-tall, armor-plated alien killing machine. <laughs> Once a Barney, we'll give it one. One swift knee and a happy sax, it'll drop like anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I love that happy sax. Happy line. sax is great. Its windpipe and beat to the death with a tonsil end. Yes, yes, very good. I'm gonna stick my fist so far down it's got to be able to pull a label off its underpants. <laughs> yes, yes, quite More ham than a butcher's window. What's that, pal? You starting trouble? <laughs> Just a little something to calm you down, sir. Come on, then, all of you slags. <laughs> one at a time. I don't care. It's all the same to me. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully, Beautifully done, sir. Beautiful. Comedy falls, sir. Uh, it was Had to be done quickly. <laughs> Comedy falls. Lovely camera packet shot shop. right big up your pant shot. leg. <laughs> yeah, big packet. <laughs> uh, two sounds pretty good to me, sir. It's always been my lucky number. Hey. Right, well, let's load up Starbuck and get out of here. Right. What about Lister? Oh, just seal that. Oh, uh, forget him. <laughs> yeah. Remember, it's out there and it could be anything. Let's move it. Oh, what about these space core directors? <laughs> oh, ah, the first. Is that the space first one? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is the very first space core director. And wherever possible, bring them home. <laughs> Whom? What about the Rimmer director? <laughs> Which states, never tangle with anything that's got more teeth than the entire Osmond family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little nod at the end there, Chris. Lovely very end. nice. Mm. Very nice. Oh, the oh, old lift. Oh, the old studio lift, uh, doubling up as a special space lift. Indeed. Oh, you look lovely in the blue light, Bobby. Look at you there. <laughs> Daniel looks like he's in imagination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Imagination. Well, five stars. Imagination. Oh, five stars. <laughs> <laughs> when you see it, aim roughly in its direction, and the heat seekers will do the rest. But that guy from Imagination is being reborn in the USA or something. Yeah, yeah. he is, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, 
staying in by the skin of his teeth. When did we shoot this then? Was this shot in the studio? Albert Dock. Or Albert Dock. Albert Dock? Yeah. In a warehouse. He was in a warehouse. Yeah, I never went anywhere. In Liverpool, this was. Apart from to watch you sadistically. I think Peter Risdale Scott arrived on the uh, set. Did he? Yeah. In Liverpool. uh, Danny was wearing one of his... uh, Titan numbers. Black and white number, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, a, a Tesco bag or something. I think we got it. Oh, Jenny! Yeah. <laughs> she said, what have you got on this week? Yes. <laughs> I think it was a whole look he quite enjoyed. He used to come and inspect my costumes. Run around now! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you know, the comedy run. The there comedy. Go. Yeah. Oh, look at that Beauty plunge. Done. Oh, come on, give me a break. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. You got it on you way. Boys, you ain't even close. Cat, <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Over here. Stay put, we'll come and find you. Keep talking. <laughs> that was a good line. I thought yeah, it was usually done, wasn't talking. it? Keep talking. You see, when you've got a line like that, you've got to that. say it in a funny way. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, oh, Barber. Francis Barber. Francis Barber. Oh. Star of many movies. Yeah, total fest. Yeah. And a lovely woman. She's lovely, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she's very nice. You must take a really brave sort of guy to do this kind of work. Well, I guess you're right. And smart. I bet you have to be smart. Smart? Yeah, you definitely have to be smart. Like I say, you can turn into anything. You've got to have your witch about you all the time. Don't let up for one second, or it'll just creep up on you and blip. Your dog me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> subtle, boys. Check it out. It's so subtle, Dan. Handsome. Oh, you think handsome? Oh, come on. You know, you're probably the best-looking guy I've ever seen. Well, I wasn't going to be the first to say it. <laughs> you know what I'd really like? Mm-hmm. I'd really like to make love to a guy like you. <laughs> well, look at that, Dan. Who <laughs> are <laughs> Let's see, uh, what are you doing in, say, ten seconds' time? <laughs> Nothing I couldn't cancel. Hi. I'm the cat. Hi. I'm the genetic mutant. Glad to know you. <laughs> Jenny who? <laughs> she didn't show Good you her best side, that, did No, you, not her best side, no. Never do that on a first date, I'd say. Is he dead? That's the nasty rumor. But according to the Can we tell, yeah. He appears to have lost an emotion. Which emotion? He's lost his vanity. This is your fault, Crichton. <laughs> but, but, but my fault? We were supposed to stick together. You let the cat run off alone. But it wasn't, I mean... I he trusted you. Now look at him. Oh, oh, please, I feel so... What yeah. model? Yes. Yeah. Oh, who is that? What a special oh. effect that was. <laughs> oh, I remember that kept falling over. Oh, looking at my best. Oh, it did, didn't it? Oh, it... What did? The, the, mo- the, the yeah, model? Yeah. yeah. I remember it, the model. It held yeah. together the whole time until they were just about to film it. Yeah. And it just collapsed. And bits dropped off it. Yeah. Like an overcooked chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the special effects are quite charming in the fact that they're so bad, though, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Transgressing the, the mores, mores, and manners of civilized society. Stop your blithering, Crichton. Come on, grab the cat and let's go. Oh, so we didn't have anyone inside the model. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it was all worked by loads and loads of yeah, levers. Oh. Uh. Where have you been? Let's go. <laughs> Quick change from the costume department. Yeah. This is. Come on, Crichton, you're holding us all up. Ah, yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> get us all killed, so? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, oh, it's great. Oh, the Rimmer's mum. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's Bonehead's mum. <laughs> Mother. Hello, dear. 
What are you doing? Oh, what does it look like, darling? <laughs> You've just made love to my mother. Yeah, do you want to make something of it? <laughs> <laughs> You've just had my mum. Five times. He was like a wild stallion. <laughs> very prim, very proper, almost austere. <laughs> ah, oh, I I think there's something of the exorcist in this scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, come up with it. Yeah, she was. She was in a few episodes, wasn't she? I think. Craig, did you write that bit? <laughs> so energetic. I honestly thought my false teeth were going to fall out. Oh dear me. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. That sounds enchanting. Well done. I, the things this boy can do with alphabetty spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> call it, Arnie. Alphabetty spaghetti! <laughs> How did that get you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I remember that was on the end of a piece of stick. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it kept missing. They kept, they kept yeah, jabbing it in your eye, it didn't it? Yeah, yeah, broken noses, everything. And it was covered in KY the jelly. The simplest thing. <laughs> Oh, there's Dan. Oh, Should have played the whole the whole series like that, Dan. It was good. Yeah. Down to the cargo yeah. bays, sleeping off a four course meal of fear, vanity, guilt, and anger. You better get it before it comes back for seconds. <laughs> it's the lad. I love Just this. Because it's an armor plated alien killing machine. <laughs> this was just kind of improvised, wasn't it? Do you remember this? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. We, were, we weren't happy with the right for it originally, remember? Put together a solution package, perhaps over tea and biscuits. Because they were going, you were going to be a hippie, to weren't you? Mm, yeah. You were going to be a hippie, and he wanted to be more of a. No, it's great. They're more beatnik, of a facilitator. Good. Yeah. I can never hear that word by somebody in customer services or yeah. anyone saying it. Customer relations saying, oh, "I think we should be a bit of a facilitator." I always just laugh every time I hear that word. Get the nuclear warheads and then strap one to my head. oblivion. <laughs> 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 Right, well, that, that's, that's very nice, David. Let's put that on the back <laughs> David. <Yeah. laughs> the beard is fantastic, though. Oh, it's, great. it's great. This... I'm nobody. <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on a step, and I hope no one thinks that I'm setting myself up as a self-elected chairperson. Just see me as a facilitator. <laughs> um, right, what's your view? Don't be shy. Well, I think we should send Mr. in as a decoy. And while it's busy eating him alive, we can creep up on it unawares and blast it into the stratosphere. Good plan. That's the best plan yet. <laughs> Get knackered eating me to death, then you guys can just, like, catch it unawares. Well, that's certainly an option, David, yes. <laughs> But here's my proposal. Let's get tough. The time for talking is over. <laughs> Call it extreme if you like, but I propose we hit it hard and hit it fast with a major, and I mean major, leaflet campaign. <laughs> a leaflet campaign. While it's I love this speech. That, it's, it's, it's reeling from that. It's the pipe that gets me. Some street theatre. <laughs> That's not enough. I'm sorry. It's time for the T-shirts. <laughs> Mutants out. <laughs> Chameleonic life forms. No thanks. <laughs> and if that's not enough, well, I don't know what will be. Has anyone ever told you that you are a disgusting? Just <laughs> <laughs> Phil <laughs> Boober. Boober. An Alsatian dog after a head swap operation. <laughs> I couldn't remember that yeah, speech. Yeah, yeah. 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 loves that speech. <laughs> That brought water to my eyes, that, you know? <laughs> I'm on it and I'm doing up the zip. Anyone who gets in my way gets a napalm enemy. I'll be everybody's right. It's brilliant, though. I love that. I love that. I think we're all beginning to lose sight of the real issue here, which is what are we going to call ourselves? Um, <laughs> Oh, this is the one. This, this is, is the guy. This. this is brilliant. This is the fan mail I got from a from a mother saying that she'd never watch Red Dwarf again. Oh, that's right. Saying that she never. That fan mail. Yeah. Well, she got Someone this. Someone says I'm never going to watch. Yeah. She said, she said she's always watched it, but she's never going to watch it anymore because of this guy. Look, look. She has to, this, she has to explain to her eight-year-old daughter. Who needs killing? We just missed that guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, we sit in a minute on the T-shirt, don't we? Why not? I mean, even if it doesn't work, it'll still be a laugh. <laughs> right, let's just cut all of this business and get on with it. Last one alive's a wet ponce. Who's with me? Well, the car stickers aren't ready till Thursday, but sometimes <laughs> one just has to act spontaneously. People, let's go. Hey, I, I'm coming too. Maybe I can bomb some money from it. 
Maybe if I hand you guys over, it'll let me go. Move it, suckers! He's <laughs> <laughs> a nasty piece of work, uh, man, Llewellyn, that's you know. the true critters coming out yeah. there. Yeah. That's what you were like off camera the whole time. Yeah. Did you have removed? You had um, Crichton had... Yeah, guilt removed. Guilt. Yeah. guilt. Mm. What did you have removed then, Chris? You had... Um, I had fear. You had fear. anger. 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 Oh. Very good, yeah, that's why you were facilitating. You anger. didn't need to use anger to, to solve problems. Indeed. And what was yours? Danny vanity. was vanity. Vanity. Yeah. vanity. Here's the... Here's woo! The... Oh. <laughs> that looks like that's well the padded ice. there, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it was a lot of padding. Right, wearing a uh, cricket box. Safety padding. Show us your slobbery chops and we'll blow A few years later, Cameo came out with that look, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here they are. Nice juicy humans, come and get them. Really <laughs> mutant, mutant. <laughs> Lovely plastic crates there. Yeah. Egg crates, whatever else. It should have been a car chase with all those cardboard boxes. Ooh, that's the ones you left earlier. Oh, Very nice tight end in that way to get rid of them. Very good. Cleverly put together. <gasps> I know. How can you ever forgive me, sirs? Well, naturally, I will commit suicide immediately. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Come on, let's go and clean up. If I don't get into some coordinated evening wear, I'm gonna have to resign my post as most handsome guy in the ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, contents too. Mm. Ah, that's right. <sighs> Sting yeah. in the tail. Hey. <laughs> so there you have it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I did enjoy that one. I remember yeah. having fun yeah. making that one. That was really good that fun. Was, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very uh, good bottle. Now who was it we were going to look for? Francis at the Barber, Young Rimmer, Simon uh, Gaffney. So Simon right. Gaffney, you bumped into Yeah, Callie, Callie Greenwood. No, I don't think they do the voiceover. No, I don't think he, got, he didn't get a credit, did he? She's no relation to Norman, is she? Who? Sonia Lovett. No. no. no I don't think so. <laughs> Donna still works Christina at Hamilton, of course, this is where she worked on this before she married... Um, no. uh, Neil. <laughs> Neil, yes. <laughs> John Pomfrey, I remember him. Yeah. Gilly Arch. Gilly Arch, I remember. And, and Donna, mm. Donna's sister works at BBC Manchester now as well. Is she really? Another yeah. De Stefano, isn't, yeah. isn't that interesting? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> isn't that interesting? Yes. <laughs> this is Red Dwarf Series 3. This episode oh, is Body no. Swap. Body Swap. It was a classic. <laughs> it was Got a these classic. two goinks doing their bit again. <laughs> oh. This is where me and Don't Chris get to change this one, Danny? personalities, yeah. isn't it? This is where we're presented with almost the ultimate actor's challenge. Yeah, which you rise up to marvellously. I, I had to beg for a couple <laughs> and of And I just pull my shoulders <laughs> back and stick my chin out. <laughs> I'd say, that's River. That's River. <laughs> you do your best scarce accent in this one, Chris. Oh, you did, you did a wonderful He does job. a wonderful accent. You did wonderful accents. A wonderful... Accents. Yeah, I don't know. I don't oh. know. I was very good at the lip syncing, I remember. You were brilliant. <laughs> um, which is a particular skill in itself. Yes. It's not easy. Uh, a scutter. Oh, a scutter. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Drive into the wall then. Go on. Oh. <laughs> as soon as a taxi drives within 400 metres of the, the director. Ah, yeah. oh, look at that. Brilliant button tapping work. Nobody could do that well. Red corridor 357. Yeah, rerouted. Rerouted. Mm -hmm. Rerouted. He's making words of busy girls along with yeah. that. <laughs> Your strange Canadian South yes. African accent. Very trim, Bobby. Now, when oh, you read that, how big's the spaceship got? Where are we um, on this? Uh, no, we're in Red Bull. No, remember that. He's gone bananas. He's completely rewired the maintenance decks back to front and upside down. We've got over 2,000 wiring faults. Don't breathe, don't touch anything. <laughs> oh, is this the um, <laughs> dispensing machine one? <laughs> yeah. Mike Agnew, our floor manager, was the dispensing machine. Ah, uh, Mike. What, the voice? He used to sleep. He was like in the bus. I always remember that. He's a big director. Mike Agnew used to get the back seat the bus. Do you remember when yes. we went, he always had to crash out, poor man. He was very tired. <laughs> Horribly relaxed he was by then. Oh, I wasn't listening, obviously. That's Mike. That's Mike. Yeah. He was an actor. He was, he was originally an actor. Oh, yeah. 
So uh, then he became a floor manager, and now he's a director. Yeah, he's doing very well. Well done, him. Mm. Oh, you creeps. You're just oh, trying to get in a lovely. film well, he's he might, doing, yeah, he might, yeah, he might give us a job, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I don't know if I want to be on the shopping channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't actually say what he was directing. That's true. Uh, look at that earring. I say touch nothing. Look, I just ordered a shake and a crispy bar. Lucky you didn't order a double cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> what is that line on about? That yeah. you made me laugh. <laughs> Why did you say that, Danny? <laughs> because it was in my contract. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. I suppose in many ways I should have updated the system, really. <laughs> is there any way that we can trick the machines thinking that one of us is the captain? No. Checks his voice print and brain scan against its data bank. Self-destruct in eight minutes, ten seconds and counting. Think of something, please. You're supposed to have an IQ of 6,000. Think of that something. That way I peeled off the screen there. Beautifully. That was so, that was so well done there. That was the urgent walk round. Yeah. Right. Right. But the way Danny, it was the dancing peel. Yeah. Peeled off, love. Yeah. Yes. He's yeah. used to being in the chorus. So good, I didn't well, you can so. always tell a lead boy dancer, can't you? You can always see it. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's used to being in the, the chorus. Peels it's called, away. It's called being generous to fellow artists. I'm a very important oh, sorry, part sorry. of the The first yeah. generation peel. <laughs> Handing over the baton. <laughs> A mind swap. He was peeling see, before swap. John. I told you to do a mind swap then, yeah. I think. We didn't even know. No, see? This is where Craig does that thing with his eyeballs, isn't it? I do that every chance I can get. Yeah, what? Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of my only skills. <laughs> then we transfer the captain's mind from his hologram personality disc into your empty brain. <laughs> yeah, look. Try this Lenovo 5. Oh, yes. Is that wait, a scutter on no, your head, sir? Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Two minutes to self destruct. Uh, what, what? So the captain's mind will be in my body. You yeah, had a week's rehearsal for this look. Hopefully, the self destruct mechanism will think you're the captain and you can activate the override. Uh, override? <laughs> you just, you started slowly to turn into Herman Munster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is yeah. the beginnings of the, the Herman. This is the seed of Herman. Uh, uh. Executive officer. Yeah, Brown's got clearance. Good um, tape in the coffee gagging. Look at the size of the syringe. Yeah. Oh, you see. It's a mental emetic. Brown's got clearance. That's not a very funny line, that one. A mind enema. A mind enema. We'll transfer it back afterwards. not sticking that thing in my head. It's a quite slow delivery. No, sir, we're not sticking it in your head. But we've got to. It's our only chance. Slag off. I'm not asking you to do this just for me. Coffee cup. Strategically placed there. I'm begging you. Do it for the sake of my suits. <laughs> I couldn't take my eyes off the fish. Yeah. I know, it's hypnotising you, isn't it? Isn't it? He started doing chicken impressions after that. One minute, 30 seconds and counting. Look, Mister, I agree. It's a stupid It's a good performance by Mike Agnew. Mm. It was very good. No, he did very well. Very calm. Very how. Very happy. Yeah, it was, yeah. You'll have to spend the rest of your life as a mindless gibbering vegetable. But if the rest of your life's only going to be 30 seconds, what the hell? <laughs> So, no, it's a brilliant bit of eye work here, Craig, right. if I remember right. Yeah, that in goes yeah. the yeah, That's the mind emetic going in. Squeamish audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's quite that's impressive. That's very good. <laughs> it's called weird hatting. Oh, Just yeah. as we saw the needle wasn't actually in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Lister's mind. <laughs> Coffee cup strategic. Oh. <laughs> Coffee cup. <laughs> 55 seconds to detonation. What's happening? What the hell is going on? I always thought you should have had the cup of coffee in your hand in that scene, you know? Really? Yeah. But I, uh, yeah, I know, mm. but it would have been more... Ooh. Less plotty, less <laughs> set up, wouldn't it? Look, you stupid woman, will explain it. <laughs> Craig didn't want to share the gag. <laughs> Why have I got now who's this voice over then of this woman who Craig is now? Who's the voice over? Don't know. organs, sexual or Fifteen seconds to detonation. Answers on postcard, please. <laughs> We're gonna get a few sacks of postcards. You've got earrings on. I've never worn earrings. I had my ear pierced when I was 16, but I didn't like it, so I took mm. it out. And I've what, your got, ear? How can you take your piercing out? I took the, the earring out. The whole out. <laughs> She's very literal, young Hattie, isn't she? In. <laughs> what a brilliant, brilliant plan. Two. I had mine done, they never worked. It's gone a bit quiet. Yeah. 
Now oh, there we go. Ah, ah, shaking the crisp. Hey. See what they did there, eh? Yeah. See what they, they took did us to the edge. There. There. The comedy police were on form this week. They took us to the edge. They did trepidation. Wired up to the warning system, but not the, the bomb. bomb. So where's the bomb? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I got rid of it ages ago. Why didn't you say? You never asked. Fine. Terrific. But remember this. You're getting my underwear bill, buddy. <laughs> a little little teaser at the end of the scene. Yeah, there, nice one, Not, not yeah. too heavy. No. Nothing wrong with a little brown trouser time gag. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I can't sleep. Probably those kippers you had for supper. Nothing wrong with Sucking kippers. me in now, isn't he? Sucking yeah, me in. Yeah. He's sucking me in. Warming me up. Can't be good for you. I mean, a curry every night. That is, this the bit with, is this the Certainly bit with no the frog? Experience. I love this. I'm thinking of getting a canary in a cage. <laughs> Check out the room. See if it's safe for me to come. Not that bad. Not that bad. You don't sweat sweat. You sweat madras sauce. Why <laughs> should interest in my diet? It's not just your diet, Lister. It's your health in general. Face facts, you eat crap, you don't what about exercise, this bunk you bed? smoke, you drink. You like this bunk frankly, bed? It's beginning Different, to wasn't it, to the others? I like that bunk bed. Or do you yeah, like yes. the submarine one better? I think I like the submarine one better, actually. What, the first own. series one and two? Yeah. Mm. But then that's me now. Yeah. At the time, I probably preferred that one. Yeah. I think you were impressed with the new set at the time. I remember you being very impressed with the set. Very impressed mm. with the set. No, I was just saying it so I wouldn't get the sack. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the jail set. Yeah, the jail set was good. The jail set was good. In series eight, mm. wasn't it? Mm. Blimey, you're leaping way ahead. Yeah, well, we're going way ahead there. We shouldn't way go that ahead. far ahead. Then you reach that age, 24, 25. Your muscles give up, they wave a little white flag, and without any warning at all, you're suddenly a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I still look like a heavy metal god. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You can see the frog. Well, that's the picture I see when you get down from the bunk in the morning. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Yeah. I'm going to start working on the gym. Of course. You could always. There he is. See, he's yeah, been getting he's, he's, yeah, yeah. Winding, winding me in. Me. Reeling me in now. Got the hook in me cheek. In your body, yours in mine. You saw how easy it was with Brown. Lend me your body for a few weeks and I'll get it fit for you. What? Plenty of exercise, sensible diet, no more booze, no more ciggies. It'll be like a 12,000 mile service for your body. What? And in the meantime, I'm a hologram. <laughs> it won't be too bad if it's only for a couple of weeks. You're talking as if it was a, a pair of hedge trimmers or a lawnmower or something. I'd give it you back. I'd return it intact, more than intact. It'd be fitter. Primer, you are not having possession of my body. What are you worried about? How can I treat it any worse than you do? You admit you don't look after it, don't I think Series 3 is the one I've seen least of since... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so a lot of this, I mean, this is flooding back now. I can, mm. but, you know, I couldn't remember it before we saw it. And then it all <laughs> floods back in. Some, yeah. of them are, some of them I've not seen in years and years yeah. and years. Ah. No Welsh mm, emerald. Why, why didn't someone say, Craig, don't tie that handkerchief around your leg? It looks naff. <laughs> Why didn't someone have a word with me? <laughs> say fashion faux pas. Yeah. <laughs> but it was Lister, not you, you see. Lister but, would have a fashion faux pas. Mm, right. yeah. But it, it just looks like he's trying too and hard. And the rubber there, gloves it? as well. Really. Oh, this is Rimmer now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is. Ah, ha, ha. I love this look, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what was I trying to say? Oh, He's got a big one or he hasn't got one? <laughs> it's big, Craig. Smacking stupid. I look like Captain Emerald. <laughs> Do something about it, man. Okay, Dave. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. What's this under his nails? Oh my god. I'm going to have this dirt carbon dated. <laughs> hmm. Luncheon, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. Shocking. Now, this must have been the last one filmed then. Wasn't it? I don't I think know. it was. Yeah, I think it was. It must have been because they wouldn't have cut your hair off halfway through. No. It's not your hair, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Little Eat bits of rag, isn't it? To taste. <laughs> That's exactly as you ordered, sir. The lightly poached mimian bladder fish. <laughs> oh, fish, you have everything to do with fish, <laughs> don't you, Lori? Mimian bladder fish. I can smell a roast suckling pig stuffed with chestnuts <laughs> and truffles. Mm. Chestnut oh. sounds lovely, actually. It does, yeah. That was really lumpy mash, and it all went up my nose, oh, you know. Yeah. It was real mash, it, it, it was horrible. Was it, real, was it smash, or was it real mash? It was real mash, was and it, it was real gravy. I don't know whether they could have used coloured water or something like that. Oh, but it was like smash, gravy. it was. Oh, that, mm, that looks nice, that mash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded doing that. <laughs> it all went up my nose. Pull the gravy on your head. As you do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. Mr. <laughs> 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 Diacone. <laughs> it's weird seeing my fashion? voice coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It must be the same for you, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Was it Craig or was it you doing an impression? It's Craig. It's me. Oh, right. Temporarily insane. It was just too much. I haven't tasted food in three million and two years. All that food. I was like an animal. I want my body back now. I went, what <laughs> back. Again? It was just something I had to get out of my system. My system. Why are you smoking? One cigar. You're supposed to be getting me fit. I'll start tomorrow. You better bleed than I do. <laughs> If you listen, I'm actually, I start to talk with a slight accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the shape of your... Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's true, I noticed that. It's you trying to get the words into that space as well. Yeah. so large, they can pick up satellite TV. I don't want to look like that smeg-haired rimophone. I actually do look like a cartoon character there, don't I? I'm looking for the strings. It's like a puppet. Ah, oh, no, this was the... Oh, this was the scene in the... This was the first scene, the first scene ever I ever filmed, shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that shot in your hotel room? No. 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 <laughs> yes, of course it was, man. Yes. <laughs> this was so hot. This was a real sauna, wasn't it? And it was, it was boiling, and oh. you had the first day in the mask. Yeah. You, you found it really difficult. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I got you now, buddy. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you That's not a word. It's a cat word. Jazikski. That's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> What's it mean? It's a sound you make when you get your sexual organs trapped in something. Which is not the Why could be? If you're reading in the nude and you close the book too quick. <laughs> what a session. What a workout. No pain, no gain, Listy. On the scales, I want to weigh you. There's no need. Look at that stomach. Flat as a pancake. Hasn't been like that in years. <laughs> scales, please. There's really no need. On the scales. <laughs> <laughs> He's a twonk, isn't he? <laughs> you put on two stone? <laughs> of course I put on two stone. I'll be taking yeast extract. <laughs> building up your body. Take the robe off. What for? Take it off. I don't want you looking at my naked body. <laughs> it's not your naked body, it's mine. What's he hiding? Off with the robe. Just let me say this. Off! <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. I quite enjoyed yeah. it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Only a prevention yeah you see, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, the, re belt. that's the reality of it all, really. That's, uh, Why has it got those little dangly things holding up stock? Uh, for attaching extra weights to so you can get fits just as you do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting to listen to your voice, Chris, because you, you have to adjust it to Craig's okay, delivery speed, don't you? The first few days, but I promise you that's all over now. Don't you see it's in my interest to get you into shape? This could become a regular thing. Fourteen days a year, I could have your body. In fact, next year, if it's convenient, I'd like to put the last two weeks in July. <laughs> <laughs> One last chance? No more troughing. That was good, that line. Take that geared loft. Doesn't suit me. <laughs> those, those last three lines are perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange watching Chris's voice come out of my yeah. face. Mm. It gets a bit confusing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just me. I don't know. If no, I think it was a bit confusing. When we were, it was really confusing to rehearse, yeah. if you remember. Because <laughs> in my head, Chris, I always think of of you being underneath yeah. that blanket it eating. It's like a Neanderthal. Who is it? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Neanderthal. <laughs> Walking with cavemen under there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is it. <laughs> what? Well, what is it? We're talking again, haven't we? <laughs> I had 
A week? This was not the deal. You've welched on it. So when, did we shoot this in front of the audience then? Because they would have heard you doing the whole... This is all pre-recorded, was it? all pre-record. So they and we played it into the audience, didn't we? Yeah, they would have yeah. seen the finished thing. Fell off. Fell off? <laughs> Science lab, now. But it's the middle of the night. Crichton's on downtime. Now. <laughs> The old famous guitar solo. Yeah, classic. Oh dear. <laughs> How many cigars did you get? <laughs> My lungs feel like they've been through a cheese grater. Look, you've got your body back. Leave me alone. Oh. <coughs> I only have a couple of rollies a day. It feels like you've smoked an entire Cuban tobacco harvest. <laughs> I have the odd one. No respect, that's what. You've shown my body no respect whatsoever. You've treated it like smeg. <laughs> Look, you've given me breasts. <laughs> There's a distinct cleavage there. Um, you've given me breasts, sir. I'm still carrying them today. What were they trying to yeah. say? Crying and cat. Oh, well, we yeah, yeah, remember. Had, and, 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 and Holly, it saved you know. going out, didn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Huh? These scales have to be right. Craig, I think there was a, a slight sort of subliminal um, message here for you. <laughs> what, from the writers? <laughs> what, trying to say I was getting a bit porky? You're a bit of fat. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that time when Rob did a caricature of you? Rob. And I, I made a badge out of it and wore it up to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. And did you do a you drawing, though? With the cl closed eyes and the mouth. You don't remember? I don't remember. I'll bet you forget that. He, I wore it as a badge to the canteen. That was very kind of you, Dan. Oh, I had an impression of him the other day. Which one? <laughs> you did on Saturday. I'd do a lot of impressions of Craig. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Fat That's Craig. impressive. You did a fat one. I'm pushing oh, that out there. I know, you are. You've got a big cushion in your back, haven't you? To get the arch there. I don't write anything down, you see, Hat. Already ample frame, but it was, let's face it, a wreck before I got anywhere near it. A wreck? If it was a car, you'd be an insurance write-off. <laughs> Your taste buds are totally... Good old massive. car analogy again. Yeah, yeah you're oh, saying yes. it. Battery Volkswagens. Yeah. <laughs> insurance write-off. What about all the aches and pains? Walnut bear. <laughs> crimps in your neck. Oh, and I'll give you a little tip. Urine should only be green if you're Mr. Spock. <laughs> <laughs> that line. Uh, what about next year? We had an agreement. Last two uh, weeks in July and the weekend before Christmas. Classic Christ. stuff. Oh, well, superbly written, as you, you know. I know. That's the thing about these shows. Yeah. I never get over that. Two weeks in the Caribbean. Grimsby's better than that. Who said that to get it back? I am the Grimsby of body destinations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go with me to my grave. Get some sleep. You'll feel different in the morning. <laughs> I was Grimsby then. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's looking at his eye. I'm really not sure about this. <laughs> Look, you're programmed to obey. Get on with it. But surely we should ask him first. I told you, he's agreed. He's perfectly happy about the situation. <laughs> well, then why did you make me chloroform him? And, and why did he struggle so? Look, I'm in charge. <laughs> struggle, <laughs> so. struggle so. Struggle so. <laughs> you're like a kindly matron. I uh, know. I love that line. Why did what, he struggle, why did he struggle so? so? Who did the music? Howard no, Goodall did this, Howard, but he did all this after we'd done time slides and he robbed the sound of my band, because remember we used my band oh, on right. all yeah, the yeah. incidental music and time slides. Yeah. And the next minute, Howard Goodall's doing me incidental yeah. music exactly the same. And incidentally, I've never been paid for incidental I music and time really slides. No. Okay. I'm coming for you, Howard. This week has been absolute heaven for me. And I couldn't just stand You'll by just and interrupt Howard like, while he's uh, presenting one of his uh, it's, it's, uh, operas. It's, 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 where's, the world. It's, it's, where's my money? Oi, Alex, oi. Don't try and follow me. <laughs> Otherwise, the body gets it. <laughs> Cat! Cat! <laughs> you do me so well, oh, Chris. You do. <laughs> It'll only take a couple of hours. Where was that shot? God, I can't remember that place. Oh, it's got to be, isn't it? That water tower. That's place? the water tower. Yeah. Um, up by, it, so on, the, on the A3. On the M3, is it? Is it that one? No, yeah, no. The A316. It's just before, the A316, just before, before you get to the flyover, um, isn't it? What's that oh, place? Is it in there? In yeah, that water pump. Just before pump. the turn off. Sunny. Yeah. Sunny. Sunbury. 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 Mm. So, is that Sunbury pumping station? Yeah, it is. We filmed that there. We filmed the exterminator. What was it called? Term, no. The one with the mask. 
another yeah. one there. Well, with he Nicholas was kind of Ball. Well, came to Nicholas Ball. Ball yeah, yeah. yeah. We could film and, that one um, there. And uh, oh, and blimey. they filmed the one with oh, Jack, God. the the guy who used to have his own chat show, the Scottish guy. Yeah. Jack when, Doherty. Yeah. yeah, Jack Doherty. Yeah. When he played oh, the guy right, that yeah. was going to expunge us from. Yes. Last day, wasn't it that one? No, what was that? No, it wasn't the last day. It was. I think it was the. Ex- Execution. What was it called? Oh, no, not Jack Doherty. It was the other Scottish guy. Gordon Kennedy. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Kennedy. Mm. <laughs> no. Oh, I remember these. We could take all these donuts. Oh yeah, we had those, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. They were lovely. And, oh, they, yeah. and they were worried about me having a weight problem. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they were nice, those donuts. We all dived in that trunk as soon as filming finished. Hmm. Well, Craig dived in all the way through the film. Yeah. Bluffing. I'm not bluffing. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> means it, man. It was flipped. Must be cream cake poisoning. I'm <laughs> bluffing. I'm going in after. That was a poor one, was it? The crowd always thought that was a poor one. I'm going to get cream cake poisoning. <laughs> Go ahead, fucks. Make my day. <laughs> 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 That's when I could really fly. Oh, oh, those, oh look at that. That's a brilliant That's model a shot. Isn't that fantastic? Great models, Where was then. that on location then? Oh, that was just outside Sunbury. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. that was in Shepherd. And there's the air. Yeah, we hit the rocks there. Look yeah. at that. Oh, look at that. That's Baghdad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead bag. <laughs> You're like a taxi driver. Keep your eye on the road, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Another crash oh, for Starbucks. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Beautifully it amazing. done. Titanium it's made out of that. <laughs> oh, smack. Oh, the smacking smacks is smacking done. <laughs> Isn't that a t-shirt as well? I think it is. Yeah. Is it? Extra, extra large size. Oh, look at those. A few whiz bangs yeah. going off. Oh, we love them. The pony, Bob, pony. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, the explosions, they were pony. <laughs> Whoops. And what was that? Was that a boom shadow in that shot? Look. What, what is it? You're, going You're to go being followed by a boom shadow. Yeah, there is. It's yeah, boom it's shadow. Boom, boom shadow. Boom shadow, boom shadow. Boom shadow. I've lost your watch too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. It's my fault. My hands are up. Well, my hand is up. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny? <laughs> Comedy fall. That was a brilliant fall, though, baby. It's the denouement, isn't it? Isn't a lot it? Of yeah. laughter. A lot of laughter. You've got to do that. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Pony I, oh, I do remember this scene, though. <laughs> Captain Chloroform. <laughs> My guilt chip is already in overdrive. I, I feel terrible. <laughs> A little bit camp here, aren't we, Quite nice. Quite a bit camp, camp there. It's, it's in my programming to obey You're all a gay things. icon, Bobby. I oh, know, that's true. How insane. <laughs> Dinner is served, sir. <laughs> the tone of Christ in those first three yeah. series. Yes. Yeah, so it's just like very, 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 oh, he was very upset. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You've seen a ghost. I was asleep, okay? Ah! <laughs> I forgot. Put a sponge on my face and I'll go to lights. <laughs> it wasn't order. Just one night, I promise. I'll be my first thing tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. Oh. Oh. I think oh, that God, water station that we were filming that wasn't in Sunbury, was it? No, I don't. I don't remember that because we didn't film down here. It was near Burnley. Was near it? Burnley. Because, of course, this was a Manchester-based yeah, show. It was, it was still Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. I, think it's probably, I never went to Burnley. From my knowledge of that. power stations in the Burnley region. Oh, yes. you got that? Where Pad- was it? Paddyham. 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 Is that yeah. right? You're the lad. You're making Paddyham. it up. And you've got, you've got that whole... You've got you're that kind of, your own website. It's all about power stations of the UK. Well, when it? I was yeah, researching the Rimmer character, I did a whole thing about power stations. Of course. Yeah, telegraph. Right, because, of course, that was a... Yeah, it's kind of a thing you do. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant, because you go into the character in that depth. Yes. And I never knew to do that, you see, in those days. He's got a photographic record of all those power stations. Exactly. And telegraph poles and stuff. <laughs> so thank you, Paddy Ham, in Burnley. <laughs> Bag of shy. <laughs> <laughs>
Who's saying this one then? Well, you say it, Hat. Go on. I don't know what it is. It's time slice. I've got to so. sit through some pork droppings. <laughs> <laughs> This is Craig time and Danny again, eh? <laughs> Is that all I say? Yeah, this is Time Sides, Red Dwarf Series 3. And it's the episode where my brother plays me as a young man. That's right. I really that enjoyed I really enjoyed playing that with him. Yeah, lovely Emil. Very nice. You have to be paid to see your brother. He's he's a nice lad, yeah, I remember. He lives, to in, be paid to see lives you. in Madrid. Does he? Yeah. That's right, isn't it? So time slides. My band actually play the incidental music in parts of this. Is as that well. right, Craig? And yeah. Did they get any uh, money for doing that? No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a word with someone? Oh, I love this. This is oh, great. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. this is Superb sweet. model. Oh. Yeah, model. Mm. All right, Dan. Oh, hi, Dan. All right. All right. You're late. What, you started without me. You started yeah. without you, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Couldn't oh, start Dan, this scene without you, though, mate. Scene, though, Couldn't Dan. start this scene without this is you. Brilliant scene. Sorry, lads, but I had to go to little boy's room. That's fine. You make yourself comfy, Dan. <laughs> oh, this golfing thing's great. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> the comedy rule of four there. <laughs> ah, yeah. Rather than the well, comedy rule of three. Well, that's because they're playing golf, you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they, you shout four in golf, from what they, I know. They said three, but I uh, beg to differ. Relax, time to chill. Lighten up. I can't lighten up. I hate my life. We seem to spend every day devising more and more ingenious ways of wasting time. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of table golf. I'm sick of tiddlywink show jumping. <laughs> I'm sick of stretching a pair of tights across the room and playing Jorex volleyball. <laughs> this is a good game, that one. Well, it does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, we should try that. Keep the golf in the head, OK? How about a game of junior angler? Girls <laughs> <laughs> and spills of freshwater fly fishing from the comfort of your own living room. But you know, I made I made Pringle fashionable yeah. again. He did, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah he was so classy on you. It was meant to be really naff, wasn't it? No, you look brilliant. I, I actually brought it back out and and um, the old um, Scotch tartan. Yes. Beautiful. French loaves. Doesn't matter what you wear, Dan. You look cool. Look at that little hat in the corner there, the top left. Yeah. Little peak. Well, something in, it to shot, in that shot had to peak. <laughs> hey, 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 no. hey, 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 so hot. Isn't it? I want to make girls, I want to make girls. <laughs> well, Junior Angler is the best you're going to get out of me, buddy. <laughs> That's one of my favourite questions. That's a good line, that. Junior Angler, look at that hat. <laughs> you should get one like that, though. It's very yeah. good. I, I, I still think that's one of the best costumes in this whole show. Yeah. It's got the Red Dwarf <laughs> badge on it. <laughs> a huge Red Dwarf <laughs> badge. <laughs> well, it's in case it's, people it's, tuned in halfway through, they wouldn't know what the show was. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, Danny McDonald. I was Tiger Woods case before got, Tiger. Exactly. Yeah. In case you got lost in the canteen, See, they knew fact, they I've, I've heard that. They, they, no, they thought it was, it was uh, you know, the black golfers only came in hey. with Tiger. But they, oh, that's my band. Hey. This is my band. Yeah, I always thought the music sport this episode. <laughs> Craig, your Triton. band, your oh, band, Triton rocking. Your no band was just like, like your checks, rubber. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber band. Band from hotels. <laughs> band from everywhere. So this is Crichton in the dark room. Yeah, developing see, Crichton, a interesting, picture. Though, though he's a very modern entity, he still uses a cassette. <laughs> it's a rather <laughs> dated form. Oh, they were modern then, though. Yeah, I suppose they were. They were the rage, weren't they? <laughs> ah. And they've got moving, moving pictures, photographs moving because moving pictures. The developing fluids mutated. Is that the script? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Cleaning his eyeballs. See, this is before home movies. Yeah. And there's the tension sheet. Ah, uh, classic. Bit of tension sheet. I forgot about tension sheet. Oh no, that's that's what's good about this. A one. rather late entry, I think, to the. Episode. Yeah, you look like you were in the. I wondered why the wandering in so late. Lagging a bit. Yeah, it was flat. Of course, of course. Yeah. Ha ha ha. It's ascending the cavalry. It was only you asked for that because you were scared of my outfit. That's true. You didn't want to be on screen with that outfit. I thought no. I can't. You're gonna hide into nothing. Not even I in the tricks. Not even the emerald green man that is gonna get past that. Yeah. I'm sick of the way you always smile when you're being insulted. I'm sick of the character. I'm sick of Holly. I'm oh, sick of you, I'm sick of I'm me, sick of and that's for Crichton. I'm sick of him. <laughs> I'm sick of the ship, I'm sick of this life. I'm just sick of it. Oh, oh isn't that sad? Not one of your uh, better moods, was it? <laughs> I was feeling a bit sick, Dude, actually. Me. Yeah. You're unhappy, aren't you? <laughs> that's where it all went wrong. If I didn't join up, I mean, things could have really worked out for me. That's a tension sheet, isn't it? <laughs> I went to school with a guy who invented tension sheets. <laughs> 
Things certainly worked out for him, all right. <laughs> a millionaire at 26. Fred Holden, he was in our dorm. God, he was thick. Thicky Holden, we used to call him. <laughs> thicky. thicky Holden, man. Thicky. He always used to come bottom in geography. He thought a glacier was a bloke who fixed windows. Come on. <laughs> that dense guy, I mean, he invented the tension sheet. It's just the stuff they used to use as packing paper. someone hasn't. All he did was paint it red and cut Taking it into small squares. Out. And you know who he married? Sabrina Mulholland to Jones. <laughs> Model. How can that be? The most desirable woman in the Western Hemisphere and Thicky Holden. A <laughs> Why didn't she change her name? <laughs> <laughs> to to, to Jones. <laughs> 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 to Holden. <laughs> yeah. Sabrina, Sabrina, Sabrina Thicky. <laughs> Did you go to the famous? Oh, Charles Keeler. He was pretty famous. What did he do? Etta's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, sir. What are you doing on my screen, Crichton? Something quite strange is happening. <laughs> oh, look at that. Looks like it was a good party, Crichton. It was a yeah. brilliant party, yeah. I was mesmerised at the technology. I know. In yeah. 1989 to do that. Yeah. 1989. It must have mutated. A long time ago. Mm -hmm. But it seems to work on any negative. There are some others here I've developed as slides. Go for it. Lights. Hey. Ah, slides. Strategically placed. I remember Today getting that snowball oh, right that in the eye, Danny. Yeah. Did not oh, fair. Yeah. Did not fair. <laughs> oh, no, this is great, man. It was sorbet, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really hard and it got right in the eye. Did we get all the props out of the country? Oh, this is a uh, rimmer being <laughs> frank, innit? Excuse me, you're blocking the shot. <laughs> You're blocking the shot. <laughs> There's a bit of Sean in there, isn't there? Yeah. Oh man, I'm back on it. I'm in a photo. Bit of who? Look, bit of Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. Look, you can touch me. You can touch me. Squire Hobbit. <laughs> Squire Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> the Roger Moore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Punch low and mean it. Uh, <laughs> now that was good, knowing where the edge of the picture was going. <laughs> It's weird that you can't go at the edge of the photograph yeah. when you were watching stuff going around the edge yeah. before. The yeah. The can can. Yes, that's mm. true. It's going out. Oh, the they edge. can go out the edge of the photograph, obviously. Now there's Mark Steele. I wonder if he oh, remembers who's Steel, in it. it? I don't. It's didn't the skier. Know. Who are they? Oh, it is. It is Mark. Yeah. Political journalist. Political and journalist comic. and comedian. Mark Steele. Yeah. Yeah. Totally miscast, in fact. Yeah. Very wrongly yeah. cast. I mean, as if he'd go yeah. skiing. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember him. <laughs> I oh, did not remember him. That does, yeah. Was that, was that, was that ice cream? Was it? it was that? sorbet. Sorbet. It was oh. solid. Right in the eye. Who threw it? Danny. <laughs> Terribly accurate. That's Adolf Hitler. He was leader of the runners up in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> the runners up. So that's a good phrase. Which magazine? Yeah, fascistic Taylor Monthly. He was Mr. October. <laughs> 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 What's he doing now? He's scuffling with Adolf Hitler. You can't just stick one on the leader of the Third Reich. I think it's a briefcase. Banana and crisps. <laughs> it's diary. Allow me, I'll switch to translation. Oh, a couple of cheap ones here. <laughs> yeah. Things to remember. Stop milk, pay papers, <laughs> in page poles. Doesn't exist anymore, does it? Uh, Stop what? kennel count for Stauffenberg. Oh. That rings a bell. Von Stauffenberg. Oh, got it. Of course it's famous. It's, um, yeah. it's only 12 years since they... He is the yeah. officer who tried to Oh, my day. Oh, there still was a Czechoslovakia then. Yeah. There was. You can't say that no more, boy, over there. Czech Republic. Also, mm. Czech Republic. Czech Republic at all, man. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, big bang. Big Raggy bang, does his yeah. business there. Someone throwing a little bit of cardboard mm. at me like yeah. that, and blowing us some cigar smoke. We've got ourselves a smegging time machine. So we can go anywhere we want, absolutely anywhere, providing we have a photograph of it. So if one of us had, say, a photograph of a female-only naturist beach in Acapulco... Remember in the rehearsal, you kept saying naturist all the time. You couldn't get naturist out. Naturist, I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but on the day, on the, on the day, day you sir, managed to pull it out the bag. You pulled it out that very bag of gags. Scale the mental block. <laughs> That is crampons. We can't get a picture of Earth and go back there. We wouldn't be able to move outside the frame of the photograph. 
Believe me, this yes, beach one, one of the finest acting you performances want to in this series. <laughs> is this an episode? So it's useless then. See American icons in it again, Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn, yeah. The famous places we could go. We could go to Dallas in November 1963. Ah, we did. We did. We did. We did. Many years later. Duck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I must have bypassed my good taste chip. <laughs> the possibilities are enormous. They're mind-numbing. We're mind-numbing. We're mind-numbing. <laughs> major disasters. What do you mean, like, persuade Dustin off and not to make Ishtar? Who <laughs> <laughs> remembers Ishtar? Yeah, I know. Mm. Make what? Make what? Yeah. That with this tree. We'll just do something small. There's no such thing as small when you're talking about changing time. I'm only talking about changing things so that we don't get marooned in space. So what's the American icons yeah. reference? That we, this, we, in series three, we started to creep a lot more of these American icons in because we were just starting to get big in America, you know? Right. Oh, what, you think it was on purpose? Well, of course it was, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was, so that it appealed to them as well. Oh. Uh, sorry, a little bit of social history. So Grimsby that would have changed to something like Newark or something. Newark, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Joycey. Another yeah. winning costume. Long Island. Island. Oh, no. Oh, no. my brother's my brother. Look um, at the shoes, man. And the, the drummer and guitarist are from Napalm, Napalm Death. Napalm Death, who did that the one really and a half second songs, didn't dead they? Dead metal brilliant. band, yeah. Fantastic. Mm. They, they do loud, one minute, they? one second songs, like... <laughs> Thank you very much. Just as well they were one second <laughs> then. The look at that hat. Smeg in the heads. Oh, that hat, Dan. Look that at is... that hat. I look like a flipping doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> that hat is insane. That's Grace Jones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit crazy, Grace actually, Jones. isn't it? Oh, 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 the famous Om song. This was very catchy, wasn't it? We were singing it all uh, week. <laughs> we were as well. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Come. Nothing like a good old-fashioned love song, eh? <laughs> and to think I genuinely thought we were going to be massive? God, I was stupid. Who are the other two? The whacked out crazy hippie drummers called Dobbin. He joined the police force in the end. He became a grand wizard in the Freemasons. <laughs> the bassist called Gaza. He was a neo-Marxist nihilistic anarchist. Eventually joined the large insurance company and got his own parking space. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Emil. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who are interested, there are some official Smeg in the Head t-shirts and some signed polaroids of the band currently on sale in the back of Dobbin's car. It's the orange Ford in the car park, the one with the ball tires and no windscreen. Well, we'll be back in 20 minutes with our second set, so from me, Smeg, and from Dobbin and Gaza, the heads, I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 See you guys later. Put getting a bit more masculine, like. Pub. Ah, yes. A meeting place where people attempt to achieve advanced states of mental incompetence by the repeated consumption of fermented, fermented vegetable, vegetable drinks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at uh, one of my own lines there. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, very good tragic, stuff. Uh, fermented vegetable drinks. Never a chore enjoying yourself. That's <laughs> real. These are your mates, then. That's Cap, Crichton and... Fish your mates, dear Dan, then. <laughs> Brutal tattoo, man! Brutal. What's it stand for? Heavy metal? Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to him, his face, it's grotesque, isn't it? <laughs> Has he had an accident? Looks like he spent three weeks with his head jammed in the lift. <laughs> it's totally shady. It's totally it's shady. Shut up. <laughs> so how'd you get in? What do you want? I've come to try and change our future. Change it? Aren't you happy being a rock star? The constant demands of them groupies getting you down. Ah, Emil's voice isn't like that anymore, you know. Has <laughs> <laughs> it dropped a few? Uh, it's dropped a little bit since then. <laughs> hello. You don't make it cause you're crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how would you know, Grand? I'd go to oh to receive what we're trying to transmit. <laughs> and you, you thought? Receive what we're trying to transmit. Crypto fascists. Shut up and listen. I'm trying to make you rich. All you got to do is go down to the patent office and register this as your invention. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a tension sheet. Uh-uh, that's immoral. That's Thicky Holden's invention. Uh-uh, was. This is just that stuff he uses, packing paper, painted red with tension sheet printed on it. I know. It's a piece of crypto-fascist bourgeois crap. <laughs> It'll make you a multi-multi-multi-millionaire. But I'm not into dosh. I hate money. I loathe possessions. It's just so... so crypto-fascist. <laughs> you stop saying everything's crypto-fascist. Make me sound like I was a complete git. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not breaking up the band. The the wicked, uh, wicked outfit he's wearing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You can't make him give up his music. It's giving Danny a run for his money there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, 
Well, you got that hat though, Dan. All them you? shiny yeah. things. <laughs> yeah, but you see, look. <laughs> look at that <laughs> hat. I forgot. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to break, it's my future. I'll take my own chances, thanks. If you take your own chances, you'll wind up stuck on a spaceship with him, him and him for the rest of eternity. You won't have a future. <sighs> you think about it. Come on. You haven't got a copy of the Om song I could take back with me. Throw in the car. Oh, what a pity. I just can't get it out of my head. It's so catchy. Om. <laughs> <laughs> Keep writing those hits, kid. <laughs> <laughs> It just makes you want to slap him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that box looks like it's going to give in any minute. Yeah, yeah it was a, well, it'll take a few seconds for the timelines to sort themselves out, and then we'll see if it's worked. It's happening. I'm disappearing. Ah. <laughs> what happened? Well, Lister altered the timelines and lived an entirely different life. Consequently, he didn't join Red to Wolf. Consequently, the cat race never existed, and we never rescued Crichton. So they've disappeared too. So it's just you and me? Just you the rest and me, of kid. eternity. No thanks. Find him and bring him back. Uh, that's a classic bit of Red to Plot, that stuff. Mm -hmm. When you do the, all their time stuff they did, it was really clever. Mm. Yeah. The old comedy police there. Got him. And? Attention sheet, inventor of Dave Lister, age uh, 17. Damn! Damn! And he died tragically in a plane crash in 98. <laughs> I love this bit. His own fault, apparently. He was making love to his 14th wife and lost control of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any photographs? Well, not of that, no. <laughs> well delivered, Mr. Yeah, Rich. Oh, thank you. Well, there's only one picture reference, but you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Oh, the show that shows the story. <laughs> it's Ruby Wax. This is Ruby, yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, there's Rubes. Well, they've stopped the Blaze Porkenberger or something. Falkenberger. God, she looks really we'll young. looking at the world's youngest billionaire, <laughs> Mr. Dave. Blaze Falkenberger. Behind Blaze me, Mr. Falkenberger. That English different. Mansion. He had the whole building transported brick by brick from half a mile down the road just to get away from the neighbours. <laughs> Now that's the kind of cash that opens anybody's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there she goes. <laughs> Palace and had it ground down just to line his drive. <laughs> this man has a wad so thick you could use it to beat whales to death. <laughs> he calls his home Xanadu, not in reference to the famous movie Citizen Kane, but as a tribute to the hit single by Dave D. Dozy, Biggie, Mick, and Dick. <laughs> But Dave has musical aspirations of his own. Yeah, who's going to remember oh, Daisy Daisy Biggie Big and Tits? Even we have trouble remembering them. Remember them. Me and Rob Grant used to sing that all the time, didn't it? Yeah. You'll never be short of an ashtray in his house. <laughs> <laughs> but like many people who appear to have everything, Dave's life has been tinged with tragedy. Well, actually, it hasn't, but we can only hope. <laughs> now on to Dr. Bob Porkman, father of the condom that calls you back. Breathe, I've seen enough. What do you want to do? I'm going in. I'm going in to rescue him. <laughs> I love this line. It's my duty. It's my duty. My duty is a complete and utter bust. <laughs> <laughs> this is my band. This is my band. Listen. Now, where was this place? This is mine. Nice. It's good, this music. It's nice. my band. Very yeah. 80s, nice though. Late 80s, 80s, sounds, yeah. yeah. Very Ian Jury. Oh, I love this song. Oh, yeah, I, like I love this, this song. Yeah, it's I didn't my know band, this was yeah. you. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't like that. Um, what's his name? Him? No, not Craig him. Craig Charles? <laughs> <laughs> no. Robert, no, Robert Addy. I love his face. Yes. Uh, what an utter delight, sir, it is to welcome you home. <laughs> you're my man. You're looking bad, baby. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Mean, yes, indeed, sir. Mean, mean, mad. Woo! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is he thinking I've there? still got this statue, you know. That's great, that statue. I've got that statue. It's not that I, big, it, is it? It pees water into my, um, it, well, it did in my London house. It pees water into Sorry, the um, into pond. the goldfish pond. It's not that yeah. size, is it? Yeah, it's huge. No, it's yeah. tiny. <laughs> <laughs> they just... <laughs> sure, thank God for that. Although, I am assured that it will be fully functional for the royal visit this week. Get out of town! Is him? Indeed, sir. Where was I'm that? I'm only just recovering from the hilarity of the gag myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swiftian in its rapier-like subtlety. He <laughs> 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 was good, he was. He was and that was my to Koo Stark. Yeah. Now, Koo Stark. Covering Newsweek. I told Daddy today 
about us, I mean. Who is Stark, for those that don't know, nearly married into the royal family, didn't she? She did. She nearly, did. She nearly married Prince, Prince Andrew. Andrew. Or did she nearly marry him or just merely know him? I think she squeezed yeah, him she a couple of times. This is the, you know, that speech you do yes. by the door. I love that speech. Sandwich on white bread with a glass of sterilised milk. <laughs> <laughs> We used to have steady when we Do were they kids. Still yeah. serve that? Uh, steady milk. Sell it. it was helicoptered in this morning from Luigi's Fish and a Chip Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> Fish and a Chip Emporium. I love that. Oh. Oh, it's a slight jump there. Yeah. But not with you, Chris. You were perfect. Yeah, I was. Really <laughs> right. Appeared in the corner of the room. <laughs> a gentleman a appears to have appeared. I love that. <laughs> Whimsy, Arnie Rimmer, Arnie, old iron balls. <laughs> Rimmer, Rimmer. <laughs> Apparently, the gentleman's name is Rimmer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Have, we met? Have we met? We're like brothers. We were shipmates, Red Dwarf. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? Of course you don't remember. It hasn't happened, has it? What hasn't happened? Sabrina Mulhollinger Jones! Yes. The Sabrina Mulhollinger Jones? Model, best selling novelist, and international jet setter? <laughs> Bed. <laughs> She's me bed. She's me bed. She's me bed. She's me bed. Eldest daughter is me bed. Gilbert, can you escort Mr. Rumor to the door? <laughs> but I come here to save you. Throw him out, Gilbert. He's a nut end. <laughs> you care to step this way, sir? But we were friends. We were buddies. Let's not have a scene, sir. <laughs> you call this happiness? You call this <laughs> happiness. Here right, we go. Oh, yes, this another. Speech. Ah. <laughs> Living with a love goddess, sex bomb model megastar, you call this contentment? <laughs> you know, I stand here now and I look at the two of us and I ask one simple question. Yes. Who is the rich man? You, with your 58 houses, your private island in the Bahamas, your multi-billion pound business empire, or me, with... with... with what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, isn't it? <laughs> I love very nice. Very nice. Very so nice. Yeah. I love that speech, man. Yeah. So well delivered, Chris, as well. Well done. It's good, isn't it? I could have thought a bit harder about that speech, really. <laughs> <laughs> he was very slick, Robert Addy, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't he in Robin, Robin Hood? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Who did he play? Oh, Robin of Sherwood, so, yeah. yeah. Just I was the baddie, he was the baddie. He was the baddie, wasn't he? Crazy madman. Sure, he didn't recognise you. Guy Gisborne, was he? That's right. Yeah. Guy of Gisborne, yeah. yeah. Ah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Lister yeah. can do it, why can't I? These photographs, there's one somewhere here of me at boarding school, Must aged eight. Guy, he's not on a sag one for that, eh? There's a tension sheet before him. <laughs> I can get there first. But then you'll disappear and become incredibly wealthy. And Lister will be sent hurtling back through time. Yes, and the cat and Crichton will be brought back into existence. True, as a byproduct, I'll become mega rich and be forced to have constant <laughs> sex with that Jones woman. <laughs> constant <laughs> sex. <laughs> constant <laughs> sex. <laughs> Polly, torch. Oh, uh, top quality. Torch. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they are very nice, those torches, available from all good hardware shops. <laughs> Vicky, Vicky Holden. Holden, there he is. <laughs> Bonehead! Oh, 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 he's got his teddy with his helmet isn't on. Isn't that sooty? <laughs> Wake up. No. What is it? Oh, oh. little rimmer. Why were you wearing the boxing gloves? Is that was that a sort of um, a... I think it was an innuendo. Was that an innuendo? Yeah, it wasn't so you could, you could fight people. No, I think it was to stop you... Right, um, keep your hands occupied, I always assume. Tension sheet. Tension sheet. Tension. He was tension. Always oh, a thug. Trying to talk to the kid. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Holden. Little sheets of paper with lots of air bubbles. <laughs> in them. Like you're getting packing paper. Look, do you mind Holden's <laughs> <little> <laughs> conversation? Go back to sleep. <laughs> They're exactly the same as the ones you get in packing paper, but you paint them red. Why red? Because it helps people relax. When you shut up and trying to make the kid rich. <laughs> <laughs> You'd write better if you took off your boxing gloves. <laughs> now, have you got all that? I think so. No. First thing tomorrow, take the idea to the patent office. I can't. Not first thing in the morning. I've got extra rubber practice because I'm so wet. <laughs> oh, he's very cute. Oh. I wonder, yeah, well, he's now Take it at That's you 25 or something. I bumped into him, yeah. I bumped oh, did you? Yeah. yeah, he bumped into he's him. He's a grown man now. Is he? Of course he is. Yeah. Yeah. Into him? Oh, yeah. I can't remember where I saw him, but he yeah, came up and said, you don't remember me, do you? And I said, no. <laughs> and he went, I, he played Rimmer yeah. as a young boy. Oh. Yeah. 
he's not acting anymore. Oh, yes, oh, yes, really? oh, yes. Really? Yep. If I were a rich <laughs> man. Work then, did it? Molly, though it pains me dearly, I'll be having to say ta-ta. Ta-ta to your stupid, gormless face. Charming. Ta-ta poverty. Ta-ta failure. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, Hello sexual ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Constant Here they come. Bang on time. Oh. Well, gentlemen, just enough time. Hey, H is missing. Oh, that's true. oh, where's that gone? Where's your right, it could be in the plot some somewhere. Yeah. In must be. Mm, must because be. you are now. Don't ask me where. I have no clue at this stage. No. I mm. know. I think we did talk about all this, I remember. Any moment. Because you, could, you were now. Any moment. Human now. or something or other. <laughs> It hasn't worked. According to my data bank, you didn't invent the tension sheet. Nah. It was invented by a gentleman named Thicky Holden. <laughs> what? All you've gone and done is put things back exactly as they were. Although, why does nothing ever go right for me? Oh, no. look at the music oh, swelling yeah. up there. Oh. Yeah. An aid no, 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 no. of the performance. <laughs> well, only an aid. I was disappointed they put the music on. <laughs> you didn't feel it needed, did you? No, no. no I mean, Something the acting different. spoke for itself. Don't Some know people see it as a distraction. <laughs> You're alive. What, the acting of the music? Oh, right. oh, no, yeah, there you go. You're alive. That was I'm trying it. to listen to the music. Oh, this is, this is uh, get out so, the puncture repair kit. Yeah. Get out there, yeah. <laughs> I'm alive! What's her name? Rachel. Yeah. I'd unpack a close up of me eating a banana sandwich. Oh, Why yeah. You unpack Rachel it could have masticated a bit more there, mate. It is right. <laughs> <laughs> For a split second, yeah. you are... This is a big explosion, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. This one. Bit... Well, did it go up a bit much, It was it? a bit bigger than we thought. Oh, yeah. Incredible, I am alive! <laughs> What was he saying? <laughs> 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 well, it's time slice. Yep. Yeah. That's one of my favourite episodes, that. Yeah, it's good, that one. It's yeah. a good little story, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's it, Robert Addy, Rupert Bates, yeah. Richard Emil, Emil. 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 my brother. Gaffney. Simon Gaffney. Gaffney. Stephen McIntosh. Ski Mark Man, Mark Steele, Steel, yeah. yeah. American presenter Ruby, Ruby Wax. Ruby Wax. Music by Howard Thieving Goodall. Howard. Hasn't paid me my royalties. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you paid him to get the gig. He'll be hearing from my solicitors. <laughs> <laughs> Think about 14, 15 years of royalties. So. Oh, it's going to build up, isn't it? It's going to build, build up. up. Hey? It's going to be a, a tidy Ooh, sum, I would say. Might possibly ah. even pay for my pool. <laughs> A game of pool. <laughs> a game of pool. Yeah, a game of pool around the park. Another yeah. <laughs> Paul Jackson production. Yeah, he did so many. <laughs> this is the last day, which was the last of that series we recorded. I remember. Yes. Series well, three. I, I want you to. I can yes. remember that because there was a. We did the party <laughs> scene at the end, and I remember doing oh. it. I thinking this is like a little party. At the end, because we thought this was going to be the end of the whole series, didn't we? You've we, done three series. Yeah. That was normally it, wasn't it? Yeah. Three series, well, and we, we all thought Bobby had come in and uh, well, blown the whole thing. We thought yeah. we were going to get a, yeah. a little <laughs> spin-off. Lister, um, sorry, uh, Crichton's World. Yeah. <laughs> Where he's, Crichton's wacky, wacky which world. Which is kind of semi-porn. You've got to hump hoovers and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it still makes you wince every time. It does. Does. It, it? does. Yeah. Rob Grant and Doug Naylor. The old happy the sax comedy, comedy police. Happy <laughs> 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 comedy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Last, Last day. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Push the no. tray, Bobby. Yeah. Look at them gloves. Weren't very oh, good. Those close-up no, gloves, the were they? No. Pony, Bobby. Pony. <laughs> boxing. Do you like boxing? There's nothing wrong with boxing. It's one of the great working-class escapes is boxing. It's just a sport like any other. Two highly trained athletes, the peak of physical perfection, trying to try to outwit each other in a ring of combat. In fact, at its best, it's not a sport, it's an art form. Ooh. Female topless boxing? <laughs> it's an art to me. It's an art to me. Lay that landmine, Bobby. Standing in the center of the ring and jiggling up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so which one are you rooting for, sir? <laughs> I'm just playing that it goes the distance. How <laughs> 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 you know, many times have I told you? I hate all this master servant stuff. Actually, I quite enjoy it, Bobby. <laughs> yes. Behind here. the scenes, you're very yes, happy with it. I don't remember. Life, sir. I come here and shine my boots. 
Yeah, goodbye waffles. <laughs> goodbye Ooh, baby. Oh, this so, is gross out yeah. this, isn't it? Goodbye fresh cream. So long, fresh strawberries. Bon appetit, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Herman's back there. Yeah, it is. How many shiny in. buttocks I have in this one? Yeah, it's Ooh. pretty nice. Danny had been polishing them in the dressing room, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I love them. Now, I'd have got that. them out of the bin, but I wouldn't have put them in his hat. <laughs> so how did they sort all that out? Was that in a separate box or something? No. It was all, just all, all mixed all in, in together. All mixed in together. <laughs> you yeah. it. It's a real bin. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I'm hungry now. Ah! As you do. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> A homing pod arrived this morning. It was just one item. The Evadroid International. Yes, that's the corporation which created and supplied me, sir. It's the leaseholder of Crichton 2X4B523P. <laughs> I can never oh, remember my full name. Full name? No. Yes. Personally, I don't much like the 2X4B. I, I think it's a jerky middle name. <laughs> Still, it could be worse. I once knew an android whose middle name was 2Q4B. Oh, poor sucker. <laughs> <laughs> What is he on about? Oh, oh, Bobby Llewellyn with yeah, eyebrows and dog. hair. Very Look at the thickness of that hair. See, you can't get away is with that it. your own hair or a wig? That was my own hair. Was well, it? It's real. It's real. Wow. Hair. Stupid. Crudely designed. You look like a new romantic there, Bobby. Isn't that amazing. He needs replacement. Spandau Ballet. You look yeah. like you're doing the Joeys. Yes, I know. Automatically activate in 24 hours' time. So you thought you could get away with it being behind that rubber mask, but you forgot all these little incidents, didn't yeah. you? Neatly away in his original supply case. Excuse me. Oh, Not even letting in some bit part actor to do that bit. You had to do it all, I had to do it, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. 2x4b. Ah, oh, spare heads. Spare heads. This is before oh, the spare heads were talking, of course. This was. Oh, there, isn't there something we can do? I'm afraid not, sir. All mechanoids are supplied with an inbuilt expiry date. Well, if we lasted forever, how would the manufacturers sell their latest models? <sighs> I can't believe it. Oh, so sad, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's in the acting, though, isn't it? Yeah. He oh, didn't really no. give a toss, did he? <laughs> no. We were thinking we're getting rid of him at last. <laughs> Gordon Kennedy. He's coming on. Yeah, he was funny. <clears throat> he went on to host a lottery, didn't he? It didn't go well yeah. from that lottery. Thing, no. Did it? No. He never won well, it. it. Everyone. No, he didn't win it, but he it's hosted. It's a definite. Yeah. Uh, the I think if it didn't host go well it, for him. At least win it, wouldn't you? Well, Eamon Holmes <laughs> doing it, I hope. Ah. And Lulu's done it. Lulu's done it. Yeah, she was never in Red Dwarf, though, was she, Lulu? No. no. And all mental and physical operations will cease. Then what? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a job as a disc jockey. <laughs> Just lie back and accept it. Oh, no, it's not the end for me, sir. It's just the beginning. I have served my human masters, and now I can look forward to my reward in silicon heaven. Uh, silicon what? Surely you've heard of silicon. Surely heaven. you've heard of silicon oh, heaven, sir. Oh, I do remember this. Bridget Nielsen in a back lift. <laughs> now who will remember her? Yeah. <laughs> Red Sonia. Red Sonia. She was married to Sly Stallone, was she not? She, she was. was. I interviewed her once when I was being Wogan for a week. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah. Was she and a nice lady? She, she got my head and stuffed it between her breasts. Oh, yeah. I turned to the camera when I've just died and gone to heaven. There we go. Mm. Oh, we hadn't done Silicon Heaven at that point. <laughs> was she no. attractive, Craig, in the flesh, so to speak? Very tall. Yeah. Tall. She was about six foot four, and she had about five inch heels on. Mm. So 5'11", really. <laughs> <laughs> or six foot nine. You don't get hair dryers with tiny little wings sitting on clouds Aww. playing harps. But it's a lovely picture, though. Yeah, it is. Or is it not written Aww. in the electronic Worse. Bible? The iron shall lie down with the lamb. <laughs> the iron shall lie down with the lamb. It's it's that's blasphemous, isn't it? Yeah. To to. Why on earth would machines spend the whole of their lives uh, serving? Did you hear that little breath? <laughs> well, <there? laughs> yeah. We're just trying to remember the rest of that speech. Come on, Bobby, keep it together. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to a far, far better place. Just out of interest, is Silicon Heaven the same place as Human Heaven? Human Heaven? Goodness me! <laughs> Goodness <laughs> me! So like um, hinge and bracket there. Someone just made that up to prevent you from all going nuts. <laughs> oh, it's lovely that little speech, that whole thing. For human eyes only. Don't know why I'm looking at it. <laughs> Isn't that a Bond film? <laughs> well, it's all very sad. Stuff. What can we do? <laughs> 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 ah, yeah. It's all hot. Mr. Caring, though. Yeah. So that he doesn't get stroppy when it comes to turn off time. So he accepts a lifetime of getting the short end of the stick because he thinks it's going to be some big reward at the end. 
Well, at least he gets 24 hours notice. That's more than most of us get. <laughs> That's <laughs> the guy like, great. Yeah. Yeah. Mind that bus, what bus splat? <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. How's he taking it? He just carries on doing his stupid smacking duties. <sighs> Maybe I should talk to him. Maybe he needs a bit of counselling. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be in the Samaritans. I know, for one morning. <laughs> well, I couldn't take any more. I don't blame you. You spoke to five people and they all committed suicide. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but one was a wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> what a gag. Yeah, good one. Thumbed up for the cricket scores. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes on. It's really my fault that everyone chose that particular day to throw themselves off buildings. <laughs> Let the papers, you know. Levingson. Leving Sunday. Leving Sunday. <laughs> Living Sunday, they called it. He's not a kit droid, Lister. He's not like that stupid thing Peterson bought on Callisto. We wouldn't know where to begin. Uh, you're right. Come on. He's happy enough. You said yourself he's taking solace in his beliefs. But his beliefs are a load of baloney. Everyone's entitled to their beliefs, Lister. I never agreed with my parents' religion, but I wouldn't dream of knocking it. But were they? Seventh day Advent hoppists. <laughs> They believe that every Sunday should be spent hopping. <laughs> they would hop to church, hop through the service, then hop back home again. A whole religion based on a typo. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Lovely, yeah. Literally. Adam and Eve, the snake and the apple, took it word for word. Unfortunately, their version had a misprint. <laughs> it was all based on 1 Corinthians 13, where it says, Faith, hop and charity. <laughs> and the greatest of these is hop. <laughs> So that's what they did every seventh day. I tell you, Sunday lunch times were a nightmare. <laughs> Hopping round the table, serving soup. We all had to wear sou'westers and ask best our Sunday. The point is, what are we going to do about Crichton? What can we do? He's pre-programmed to self-destruct. At least we can help. At least we can make sure he goes out with a bang. Yeah. Give, him, give him one last big smegging night to remember. Smegging night. <laughs> he doesn't like doing anything. His idea of a good time is for us all to go up to the laundry room and fold some sheets. <laughs> Fun? Ah, yes, the <laughs> employment of time in a profitless and non-practical way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Bang on the money, good. that. a good time. Oh, oh yes. I get to wear a tiara in That's this That's right, one. you do, love. Oh, you had your tiara on. You bits of costume and yep. earrings. It's a lot of stress for you to have all them props, isn't it? Oh, that keep 80s it on the electro edge. incidental. All right. More tartan. Hey, what is this? Build it yourself. Oh, your this is great. Oh, uh, yeah. With just a screwdriver and a tub of glue, you can construct an exact replica of the famous actress in under two hours. It's a load of honk, man. Honk? Two it's a load of honk. I mean, look at the box. And look at the face that comes with the kit. <laughs> wow, where'd you get it from? Peterson bought up his planet leave on Callisto. You think he'll try and seduce her? I hardly think so. He's a bit like Action Man in that department. <laughs> Just plastic underpants and a trademark. <laughs> you mean he's got no... No. How does he write his name in the snow? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. Come on, everything goes at eight. Let's go, let's go. We're being told to talk, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting here enjoying oh, the performance. I love doing the ironing. I'm in you love wearing that penny. And that penny was great. It's very kinky, that penny, though, Crichton. It's Bob. Bit Bob of easy scutter. work for the scutter. Thank you, Bob. Isn't it? Easy. That took about 15 takes, that. It did, didn't it? Isn't it? It kept walking into the wall. kept driving into the wall. It went all over the place. It wouldn't let go of the invitation, I don't think. I think you had to fight it for that invitation. Were this. God, yeah, the music is it's so 80s, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, very. It's it's extraordinary now you hear it. Because at the time, oh, I thought, no, wow, it was really meant groovy to be music. Naff, no, it was, it was <laughs> naff at the time. And I love this suit. I was so comfy in that suit. That was so it's nice. got that jank jank. Hello? Just the keyboard jank. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have your metal body Trying to keep on, I think I think Before a they got the good yeah. horn sounds on the keyboard. Here we are. Forced fun. Forced fun. Enforced jolliness. Enforced jollity. It's like New Year's Eve, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You've got to have You've a good time. You've got to have a good time. Is that alcohol? I don't drink alcohol. It has no effect on my oh. diode. No, this will make. Mate, something special. I whipped up Android Home Brew. <laughs> Look at that. Good head. Smoking. <laughs> that was even that was ahead of its time at the time. Oh, yeah. A bit of scratching and that. How'd you yeah. do that? That was hard. A nice kick to it, sort of a crust Splice the tape there. Right. Here, have you been looking in my recipe book? Oh, would anybody else like some? Oh no, it's lethal to humans. 
It's probably lethal to androids, to be honest, but I don't think it matters since tomorrow you're going to be... <laughs> Enough of all this chitter chatter. <laughs> 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 right, it's a very good one. It was Napoleon. Oh, there's so much to choose from. Uh, sir, uh, may I recommend the uh, barium hydrochlorate salad niçoise? <laughs> <laughs> followed by the helium 3 isotopes de la maison. De la maison? And then perhaps a small radioactive fruit salad for pudding. <laughs> this is just <laughs> wonderful. Give them the presents, give them the presents. <laughs> hey, keep your fair on. We're not going to dug into our bottom <laughs> drawers because once the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Give him mine, give him mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a computer chip. Oh, it's a 5517 stroke W13. Yeah, it's 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 really it's written on the table. table. Yeah, it's written on the table. I can't remember. I can't remember my own right. phone number, let alone a line like that. What about mine? Give him mine. Uh, this is from me. I picked it up on a trip to Europe. One rival collector once offered me this one... This is not worth it. It isn't. It is, isn't it? Soldier, isn't it? Oh, no. George yeah. S. Patton, commander of the 3rd and 7th <laughs> Army's <laughs> Allied Invasion Forces, once stopped off at an Italian field hospital and had his sinuses drained. <laughs> <laughs> Some people will collect anything. Yeah. This is from him. Oh, <laughs> it's one of your earrings. That's right. It's <laughs> the one you really hate. That's no. right. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What did I give you? Oh, oh that's right. Here she it's comes. A box that goes vzzzt. <laughs> no. That's just what I've always wanted. <laughs> Now, there was a girl inside there this, was, I there? remember. And, and doing some excellent robot walking. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it didn't have to be yeah. a girl in it at all. <laughs> it's a robot. It wasn't Jill Greenacre, was it? From, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't. No. No. It's not quite finished yet, but it's best that I do in the time. Oh. Oh, Julie oh, Higginson. Julie I really Higginson. Think Julie Higginson. I think so, yeah. 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 He played the robot. He said, good job. Uh, we were damn well. No, I well. think it was. Damn well. Has she, she ever been invited to a convention? Judy no, Higgins. She should be. She, she should, should be. She should be. Yeah. Yeah. Who would recognise her? That's true. See, that could have been a stuntman. Could have been, couldn't it? But I think it's important that it was a woman that did it. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny... Cool. Lay it on down fat and funky, Bobby. <laughs> I don't believe I'm drunk. <laughs> I, I suddenly feel the need to... to I should have nicked that tiara. Stuff. Yeah, it was lovely. That's probably a real one, wasn't it? It's probably solid diamonds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time I got drunk. Sick Some gag coming up. Paris. Drank a couple of bottles of cheap red <laughs> plonk and then one of the guy that tore the Eiffel Tower. I was okay until I got to the top, but then I couldn't keep it in anymore. <laughs> Apparently it landed on Montmartre. <laughs> That's five miles away. <laughs> The story I got told was some pavement artist sold it to a Texan tourist. Told me it was a genuine Jackson Pollock. <laughs> if we're talking about famous first, famous my first. first French kiss. Yeah. It's gonna be a killer story. <laughs> Fourteen years old. Back of his hand. We went on a holiday with oh. my uncle Frank and his two daughters. Is this sixteen? <laughs> this is the incest. Oh. Thing. Oh. <laughs> I knew that Sarah fancied me. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't the pile of yeah, freshly cut grass line, is it? Um, uh, I think it's Uncle Frank. No, no, it's Uncle Frank. Yeah. My throat. <laughs> Wide awake now, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Uncle Frank. <laughs> He'd got the wrong room. He thought I was my mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. It's worse. It's absolutely mom. sick. Mom. I never had a mum. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. It's all part of being drunk. You've been through the happy stage, now you're going through the melancholy stage. Oh, everybody should have a mum. <laughs> I never had a mum neither. Well, you can all have mine. Frank did, everybody else did. That guilty guy, man. Oh, that's sick. Abandoned. Six weeks old. Oh, some cardboard box underneath the pool table. Just abandoned in this pub. Oh, how could anybody do that? Never found out. Never. Ne ne never found out. <laughs> well, I'd have thought it was obvious. Two people unable to contain their desires <laughs> had an illicit liaison. A liaison that an unforgiving society would not accept. And you were the fruit of their forbidden passion. <laughs> forbidden passion fruit. Forbidden passion, passion fruit. fruit. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying? I'm saying, Lister, that there's a very real possibility that your parents were brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm better my inner 
animals, dear. What kind of remark is that? How many toes have you got? <laughs> got ten. Yeah, on both feet. <laughs> All together. They're not webbed or anything, are they? <laughs> <laughs> We're related. Or... Ah, <laughs> great fool, Bobby. Yeah. Comedy right. stunt fool. That was a yeah. classic fool. I think I feel a Jackson Pollock coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, dearie me. Well, they put the old music on this series, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. That must have cost a bomb. They'd obviously up the budget a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but we never got any. They gave it to the musician. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Little extra lick of paint oh, on the models. I remember uh -huh. this. I remember this scene very fondly. It looks like my house on a Saturday night. Leaseholder addendum. Do not despair. Crichton's replacement is on his way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is the new state-of-the-art in Android technology. Ten times faster than any droid on the market. <laughs> Ten times smarter than its nearest rival. <laughs> is that actually right? <laughs> yes, it's correct. correct. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a big fella, isn't he? Are you sure that isn't Craig in there? There's never been anything. Gordon Kennedy. The ultimate machine. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Very subtle oh head rolling there, but yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could I, you barely notice it, did you? Not really. Damage control report. <laughs> oh. Dehydration level, 45%. 45 I'm still drunk, actually. Uh. <laughs> Embarrassment factor, 91%. <laughs> Advise repair schedule. Reboot startup disk, offline for 36 hours and replace head. <laughs> Boy, what a night. Boy, what a night. <laughs> is it just me or is that cockroach shuffling too loudly? Crichton, it's called a hangover, don't panic. What on a mining ship? Three million years into deep space. How? Can someone explain to me <laughs> where the smack got this traffic cone? <laughs> the old traffic cone. Hey, the old gags. traffic yeah, cone. Yeah, yeah. All the student gags are the best. It's the policewoman's helmet and the suspenders. I don't understand. <laughs> In a way, I feel somewhat disturbed by this turn of events. Oh, yeah. You're always bringing it's it down, down, aren't yeah, you, Bobby? Yeah. 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 It's so hey, depressing, man. You know what I mean? Gosh. Get a life. Get a job. Yeah, but if you're going to be replaced, you get sad. Yes. <laughs> you know, Gordon was very good. You all liked it. You know, I was very worried. It could be approximated to Oh, dear. Bring back That's Ross. Like, That's what I say. First time in my life, I lived. Oh, nice. Right, it's ten to seven. One night. One it's night. Not it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, no, it isn't, is it? You know that when you get older. That's not the problem. What is the problem? I thought you understood. It's a service contract. But you forget where thick, mate. Tell us. triggered by the impending <laughs> arrival of my replacement. What replacement? The new model. The latest upgrade. If I don't terminate myself, he's under orders to do it for me. Well, no prop, Bob. We'll just tell him he's got the wrong address. No, no, you don't understand. He won't take no for an answer. It's the only circumstance under which an android is programmed to be violent. <laughs> programmed. <laughs> programmed. <laughs> programmed. 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 Louis Grossman. Uh, he's the latest model. Well, uh, all the state-of-the-art upgrades. Hey, we're supporting you, man. There's one of him and four of us, right? But you would not profit by it. <laughs> all of this life. <laughs> android? Is this the human <laughs> value you call... Friendship? Friendship? Don't give me the Star you would not Trek profit crap. from it. <laughs> 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 Don't give me the Star Trek crap crap. <laughs> Hang on. There's a craft approaching. Profit. He's here. He's arrived. He's here. He's requesting landing permission. What shall I tell him? Tell him we'll meet him on the landing gantry. Oh, dear. Yeah, Hudson arrives. Ooh. And a big yellow ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you want to go through with this, sir? We'll and I got, I get a shot, I get a sawn off shotgun. Why did, did I get a sawn off shotgun? Where did you get that from? All of a sudden, yeah. Sawn off shotgun. Oh well, he has one, doesn't he? The weapons cupboard. Oh, that's right. From yeah. the weapons yes. cupboard. The antique Where weapons you cupboard. Think you got it from the weapons cupboard. Silent, leaving a scrap metal. Yeah, it is. He's a big fella. It's gunfire at the OK Corral. I love the way he does all that machine gun yeah. action, though. It's good. We thought he was the dispatch rider with yeah. a letter. Yeah, you're supposed to take your helmet off when you come in. Yeah. 
Please don't approach the counter with your helmet on. Oh. I say. You're not dead. You should be dismantled and ready to leave. He's not leaving. You are. <laughs> Did I really say that? <laughs> <laughs> Say. <laughs> Can I fix you a nice cool drink? <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Arnold, sir? I'm sorry? Um, I'm just covering the rear. <laughs> <laughs> a bravery award for River. That is ever. If you want him, you're going to have to come through us. Because you're big mouth again. <laughs> no. Is that the way you want it? It's the way it is. Then you better leave an address with your body <laughs> so I can mail it to your head. It's all right, Mr. Davidson. He's bluffing. He's, he's programmed not to harm humans. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, look uh, here. Malado. <laughs> Malado. <laughs> all right, Malado, the party's over. <laughs> Just about as much of this as I'm going to take. Uh. It's no good standing there with your big macho chest and your sea oiled nipples. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't impress me one bit. Now, I don't know where you've come from. And frankly, I've got I don't much care. What's he going to do? Drop his trousers? <laughs> 30 seconds, Crichton. You're dead. You're away. Or mine. Look, we all know you're programmed not to harm <laughs> humans, so you can drop all this. Oh, we get a bit of uh, Terminator <laughs> screen stuff in. Yeah. Did it? Ex human hologram. Viable target. <laughs> <laughs> Felix Sapiens not human, viable target. <laughs> this is great. Oh, <laughs> Fairly <wow>. human. Are <laughs> <laughs> they trying to tell me something that yeah. yeah. Targets. <laughs> Ew. Well, it's been a few years since I did that. <laughs> You're a very rude man. <laughs> Dying time. Dying Remember we tried to shoot this in a yeah. space that was like it was yeah. about two feet away from yeah, us, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 It, makes, it looks like we're really far away, but they were like little my steps you took, man. Just doing my job. It's not my fault if I love it. That's a total nut He's been tracking me for thousands of years. All that time alone, it's worn out his sanity chip. <laughs> Wipe my dear, me, dear, from your eye. Look, this is my problem. And he never knew if there was going to be another series each time, did he? No. You get a phone call going, oh, there's going to be another series. Because we did, we had a party after we did this, I'm sure, and, mm. and, that, and that was the last of the series, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. In Manchester. Isn't that the one when Chris did all the impersonations? Very good, yeah. Kennedy's finest hour, I think. Yeah. Very, very good, yeah. He's very good in this. <laughs> was she standing on a box then, Robert? Oh, I just think I was. Ooh. <laughs> that. <laughs> Bomb's gone off in my pants. Boys, you can all die at once. <laughs> it doesn't exist. What doesn't exist? <laughs> Silicon Heaven. There's no such place. No such place as Silicon Heaven. <laughs> That's right. The whole thing's a big con. No such place as Silicon Heaven. No! And where do all the calculators go? They just die! Phew! <laughs> calculators just die. No such place. <laughs> Need. Do. That's Blade Runner, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, it is. It's just, it's you watch it all the thing. A metaphysical dichotomy. A well. metaphysical dichotomy, oh. sir. Oh, how come you can remember your oh, lines when you haven't got the rubber mask on? He's bloody yeah, reading them, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doug was holding him up for me. A credit note will be forwarded to your company immediately. What happened? He's an android. His brain couldn't handle the concept brain. of there being no silicon. No, no silicon heaven. So how come yours can? Well, I knew something he didn't. Uh, I'm... Oh. I knew I was lying. <laughs> no silicon heaven? Preposterous. Well, where would all the calculators go? Good question, Aww. sir. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, you had well. to talk to lie at this point, though, had you? And that, my yeah. dears, is the end, end of, of Series 3. Absolutely right, Dad. That was Series 3. Six beautiful little episodes who, wrapped up in a lot of joy. Who woke him up? <laughs> 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 Welcome aboard, Daddy. <laughs> 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 I was actually wallowing in your performances. Well, that's true. Like, 
Can you have to watch. Dirt box. Trying to keep himself <laughs> out of the mire. <laughs> Yeah, man. Mike Agnew, Anna St remember Anna Stanner? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Jones, yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Who is she? John Pomp on the lights. Mel Bibby. Much yeah, missed. Much Bless missed, Mel. He worked on a Jonathan Ross show as well, when I was a fairy. Oh, did he? Didn't Jilly, did. Jilly Anna Archer? Stanley. Oh, did I know who she is now? Just wait that out. Jilly Archer was, um... Charles Orff? Uh, Charles's. Charles's, uh... Charles's.